Uh, mute, mute. Let's get this going. Welcome to Wednesday. <laughs> welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. And welcome to Tanya. And hey. welcome to Erlen. Yeah. Say hello. Yes. Hey. Can you hear me? And James, or am I muted on your end? I can hear you, and hopefully everyone else can hear mm -hmm. you. Can you hear Erlen out there? Yes. <laughs> Big thumbs up. We'll find out in about five Same seconds. James, or am I muted on your end? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is Wednesday's show, we'll and find out. Uh, this it's is where okay we play new games on classic me. consoles Life goes on. at 60 frames a second. So make sure you're watching at 60 frames a second, either live or on YouTube, where we post the show a day later. So we're going to be playing a couple games today, three games today. Nobody said they can hear you, but nobody said they can't hear you. <laughs> <Yeah>. So, <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, a little robot-y there. <laughs> um, so Schrodinger's uh, Erlen right now, so we don't know. <laughs> we'll find yeah, out Yeah, you know, I don't, it's just like um, a little so, kid, it's great. He's very low. Really? Um, that might be from my end. Is it... Your volumes are showing exactly the same yeah, it'll, level Yeah, it'll turn up when it's meant to. So, okay. I don't know. Hmm. We'll see as we go through. Um, mm -hmm. That might be from my end. Is it... Is that feedback? It's not feedback. It's I don't okay. know what it is yet. It's robot, robot voice. Yeah, we we'll may have to deal with this experiment for this show. Goes. We're getting it better each time. <laughs> Slight improvement. Slight improvement each time. So today we're going to be playing <clears throat> Mr. Yo Yo, uh, 2020 work in progress update. We've played it before. Mm -hmm. um, did you play it last time? I think you did. Uh, yeah, it's a Yo Yo, so. and you shoot to the sides. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're going to be playing Abyss of Chernobyl, uh, 2020 work in progress update no. by Fair Janis Zoltan, a.k.a. member Atarian. And somebody asks, he's very Atari sounding. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> that works. Uh, very, uh, very like four bit sounding sample on Erlen's voice. Uh, <laughs> it comes and goes high and low. Uh, there was another Chernobyl game. Mm -hmm. Is Abyss of Chernobyl a new game? It's new ish. It's from 2019, I believe it started. Mm. Um, so I don't think it's an old one. It's it's fairly new if you're thinking of another one. Does Twitch not like the GT symbol in chat? Well, it showed up as semicolon GT, so <laughs> it may not like it. And we're going to try our hand at Beam Rider again for the patch. So we'll see how we do with that. I can't even remember what that is now. <laughs> Beam Rider? Shooting things that are coming at you sort oh, of... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. From the yeah. top, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's a fun game. And uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers, Cafe Man 2D, Captain Classic, Dianoi, Drexel, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC23, <laughs> Charles G, Croco 2600, Laud Mott, Mad Max 2069, MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, RC70, Repentless VG, Retro, Retro Salary Man, Spartan 5A1, Sesser Mares 2008, The D Train 37, The Washmate 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, and Vin Jack. Yeah, a lot of names. Uh, you can support the show and subscribe for free if you link your Amazon Prime to Twitch Prime and click subscribe, like all those people I just mentioned. <laughs> or you can just watch the show and enjoy it. And that is perfectly fine too. Um, and uh, make sure you follow, like, and subscribe to all the things Twitch and YouTube. And we're like three people away from 500 people on YouTube. Oh, awesome. Subscribers, That's which is really good. amazing. Mm -hmm. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well. Audio is a bit out of sync for me. Mm -hmm. That may be true. So it should be in sync now. Hopefully. Because I think I did restart it after I did. Because I have to do something every time. They still haven't fixed that out of sync problem. Really? Yeah. It's annoying, and they did an update recently. What, so. what is it? The software you're using, or is it Twitch itself? Uh, no, it's a software mm. OBS, mm. Um, because you can, because all the inputs are coming together all at once, and each of them arrives at different times because of buffering from different systems. Because they have to compress it and do a whole bunch of stuff, and so you have to offset it a little bit each thing. Because the audio comes at a different time. Sync is good now. Awesome. Audio comes in a different time. Video comes in a different time. Because I've got like five or six inputs going. <laughs> Even more now. Yeah. <laughs> that Erlen is here. 
<laughs> the Erlen input is, is, yeah. is, you know. Erlen's audio and video is coming in at the same time, okay. which is good. I don't have to mess with that. We've got a microphone up here. Mm. So that's two. Uh, video camera, our main one, is three. <clears throat> we've got a cat cam slash Atari cam. cam. It's four. Uh, we've got an Atari 2600. That's five. And that's about it. So we've got five different inputs, and they all have to sync up for the people out there. Mm. Luckily, only really one of them I need to put out of sync, and that is the microphone. Really? Yeah. Everything else arrives Roughly enough the in same sync. Time. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Actually, I do have to delay the other one, but every time I start up the stream, I have to remind the program that this microphone above us that you can't see is needs to be out of sync so i have to click it up and down one millisecond it's very annoying <clears throat> so how was the audio for you uh erlen out there it is the weirdest thing in the world to be watching both live and you this is like i wish i could just show the world what my experience is because right now i'm watching five seconds behind and currently right <laughs> <laughs> it is the yeah, weirdest you thing in the world to be watching live both live and you. Software, but you then you like, us five I wish I could show after. the world what my experience so, is because uh, right now I'm watching how, how long five seconds behind and currently, so it's hard to know what to react to, but it's great. Oh, it's a long time. <laughs> Yet? Happened, so oh. Some idea. Wow. Yeah, so a little bit. That's a real delay. But yeah. to people out there, it doesn't matter. Oh, and yeah. you get us live on your webcam, so it really doesn't matter too much. Yeah. The other thing is while we're playing, while we're oh, playing, you're going to hear us die okay, first, finally happened. and then that you'll gives you some idea <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It'll work out yeah, in the end. Talking. Well, nobody, it's not going to be spoiled for them because you'll be reacting. Like, yeah, it'll be weird. You'll be reacting gameplay, late I guess I'll have to, to, have to the game. You'll be like, yeah, that happened a long time ago. We're hearing I don't hearing want to spoil it for anybody. Five seconds. So I hear Erlen twice, once quiet, then louder, later loud and garbly. <laughs> oh no. That's interesting. Later loud and garbly. Should we bail? Yes, if weird. It's not gonna work. It's what not if work. what if you um <laughs> Turned no. up the volume. His audio is loud when you turn you're off his audio and have the audio come through the room. Um, that would that be worse? Is an option. It'll be worse, mm. but um, and he'll be out of sync most likely. Like his 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 okay. His video to his audio because his audio will be um it should be fairly in sync, but it might be a little bit out of sync. Oh no, I I. I swear I tested. I was wondering what was happening. I was hearing four voices. <laughs> oh no, this is terrible. But we can't. Uh, that's not good. Okay. Well, let's not worry about it. Let's let you guys do the show, and I can. Uh, I'll just. I'll just watch because if it's. Uh, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let's Carolina not worry about it. Let's let corner. you guys do the show, <laughs> and I can. Uh, I'll just. I'll just talking. watch because if it's. Uh, you know. I don't want you having to do too much on the on the fly. Yeah, I'll that's just, good. It, I'll, I'll 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 just bail then, and um, it's good to it's oh, good no. to see you guys. Though. No, it's no. nice to see everyone. We did a little bit of and testing, I'm doing okay. But, I'm messing nice healthy um, and, and safe. Not enough, and I guess. Because I got, it was, I got lots of stories, but I will I save them for when I can I be on the show. Because it seemed like it was working what? fine. Um, but I know Erlen's probably coming in again through this microphone, and then probably again through the system after he comes in. I know it's a bit weird, but mm. yeah, but uh, I'll have to solve it. It's closest when hearing your room sound. Okay, let's so give it could, a try. We could, yeah. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to turn off Erlen on the mixer there. And I'm going to route you through the laptop for sound. So just, yeah, don't say anything yet. And now okay. we get to see how bad my laptop uh, speakers are. <laughs> okay, now Erlen, talk. How's this? Is this a little bit better? Yeah, you're super quiet, though. Is it up all the way? 
Yeah, it is. It's probably better for them, but harder for you, I guess. Oh, here. Let me, uh... Oh, there we go. Turn that up all the way. All the way? More. Yep. Then we can turn it down here. Okay, talk again, Erlen. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's awesome. Okay, one more. One, two, three, four, five. Also, we're getting a, we're getting a thing in me, but that's okay. It'll pop up. Wow, is that is nice? it much better? Just quiet. Why is that so loud and un? Okay. People are saying perfect. Oh, good. <laughs> it works pretty good. Well, that that you know. That makes it a lot works. easier. Okay. And the sync is okay, everyone. It's okay. It's, try clap, Erlen. Okay. Good. Okay. Sync is fine. All right. Magical. There we go. Magical. <laughs> Solved through uh, low tech. Because um, I used to do radio shows and we would just hold the phone up to the speaker, the, the microphone, <laughs> rather than like do some fancy routing the phone through the mixing board and have volume because there was always a loop. Mm. looping back somehow and you couldn't it was really hard to get rid of the loop and buying really expensive phone switching equipment that radio stations use it was like thousands mm. so i'm like yeah now i know why it's so complicated um so everybody's everybody's happy in the chat yeah. so if everybody in the chat's <laughs> happy then we are happy That's here right. Um, so i want to thank all the people tuning in live as well pack rat vg crack drafter Splendid not Dios Kilos 80, I supposed to, and Anthony Elms 38, Captain Classic uh, Spartan 581, and everybody else who yeah, thank is you for lurking. Coming. Yeah, thank you for coming on a Wednesday night. Um, so, mail news and feedback. Erlen is here, like we said. Um, we tried this out on last Friday with mm -hmm. Darcy, and um, to some success, we're trying to you know clean it up a bit as as much as possible mm -hmm. i do want to get it piped in ex properly though and I, i'm pretty sure there is a way to do it um i just need to do some more practice with it um because we want to do something very special coming up on the show which is have which is something i wanted to do for a long time which mm -hmm. is developer spotlights where we play all the games of one specific developer or programmer and now, like, we were just going to play the games. But now we can almost we can also have them play on the us. show yeah. and play the game, some of the games with us. Because with Darcy, we played a game over the internet with him, an Atari 2600 game. But um, some of them you can't play. But having the developer, developer here on the show while we play their games, I think that would be a, a really, really fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. And they can go through the history of the game while we're playing it. And I think uh, that would be so much fun. And I'd love to hear what you, who you guys would like to see first on the show um, in terms of developers. And we can go through their whole catalog or some of their catalogs. Some people have massive, massive catalogs of games. We can split it into two parts, you know, one show and the next show. I got some votes, but I'll, you got I'll, some I'll votes? keep them to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah, there's always going to be the popular people. But, uh, yeah, we can... You know, work through them. Um, that would be fun. Or, you know, have them on the show when there's a big, when they have a new game to mm -hmm. debut. Mm -hmm. You know, when they want to show off their newest game. That would be fun, too. Uh, Ricardo Pim says he is here and he's quarantined. Are, are you actually sick or are you just stuck at home? <laughs> if you're sick, that would be very, that would suck a lot. Yeah. Sort of like the director commentary audio track on yeah. the DVD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like commentary track, but for video games. Yeah. And we'll be playing the video game at the same time. It's, it's, I've, it's, it's pretty, I know it does not done with, you know, homebrew games. I don't know if it's even been done very much with like new games. There must be someone who's done it, but it's, it's, I've never heard it before. <clears throat> yeah. Well, now we can verify the, um, that the robotic voice is actually on the computer because it just happened. So it's not through the software. So that's good thing to know for yeah. the future. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so it might be overdriving on your end. Um, like too much input on your end for the uh, microphone. Because we're 
Oh, do you, like, do you want me to turn it down? Yeah, if you could turn your input down or something. Yeah, it might be. Is, is that better? I can talk a bit louder. Yeah, we'll keep it there for now, and we'll see okay. how that works out. Uh, oh, Ricardo Pam says they're fine, just virus prevention. Yes. That's good. Mm -hmm. um, so I found the other day, um, somebody posted it on Facebook, this game, this arcade game mm. that I'd never heard of. And most people that were commenting on it had never heard of it either. And I looked at it and went, that, that game will work on the Atari 2600. That, that game looks perfect. Mm. So I, I have decided that's the game I'm going to shoot for, for my first game to make. Oh, okay. And, and start building up towards that. And this game has never been ported to anything, ever. No computers, no consoles, anything. And almost nobody's heard of it, but they should have heard of it. Um, I'm not going to tell you what it is. But. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> it'll be a surprise, yeah. Um, but it it's structured in a way that it would port really well and really easily to the 2600. Mm. Um, and I'm really actually surprised nobody's ported it. But I think it's just so obscure but at the same time, it shouldn't be. Like, I, I can't say any more about it. But, um, yeah, so um, I think I can build it up quite quite step by step to get it to, you know, the arcade level. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, watch out for that. If I have time, <laughs> I'll try. Um, uh, the uh, Dan uh, Kitchen uh, posted the Gold Rush patch online. Oh, cool. That uh, when he releases his games, he's, he's also going to be including patches that people can work towards. So let's like take, real patches. Yeah, like real you can, physical patches. Oh, okay. Yeah, that people can. Uh, the first thing we're going to be doing when that game gets released. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, going to attempt uh, 2600 4K 8K uh, Batari Basic DPC Plus. Um, I'm going to be uh, going for a 4K at first. Uh, not Batari Basic. It's going to be an assembly. Uh, no DPC plus um, at first anyway. Um, I might get there if I need to, um, or I, I would like to learn it obviously eventually. But for this one, 4K. I don't know if I'd fit it in 4K, but I'll tr I'll I'll work up from 4K to probably 8K because of the number of enemies and the graphics needed and the different things that need to happen in the game. I think it's a little too complex for 4K, mm -hmm. but uh, we'll see. But yeah, start start slow, and um, I think Andrew Davy kind of kicked me into gear. He showed up like the last episode. <laughs> yeah. He said, hey, "Why don't you make your own game?" Yeah. It's like, well, I have been planning on it. You have but... a lot of games in development too, because I know you have a well, folder of like ideas. Yeah, just written down, not yeah. not actually started yeah. in like even pseudocode or yeah. anything, but yeah. like worked out on paper mm -hmm. and um, getting horrible audio here. Unfortunately, lagging one second or so. Horrible audio. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lots of audio breakup. Oh, I think that might be on your end, Andrew. I'm sorry. Um, try and reconnect, maybe. Because uh, we are strong here and um, everything should be fine. It's on his end. <laughs> Crack Drafter <laughs> determinately said Putting it's on down. his end. No, don't make them. Don't make <laughs> no, them. because if he's getting it good, then. Fool yeah. around with it anymore. <laughs> sorry. Um, so, Gold Rush. Yes, let's take a look <laughs> at the patch here. Because he posted it on um, some of the Facebook forums. So let's go screen capture. There we are. Gold Rush Golden Spike Club patch. Just as Activision released patches in the early 1980s for each of their 2600 games, I'll be releasing a high score patch for every one of my new 2600 games. Here's the first of many patches to come. The Gold Rush Gulch Railroad Golden Spike Club Patch. That's a long name. Mm -hmm. Will you have what it takes to become a member? This is uh, bigger nice. than the page. Let me see if I can... Uh, <laughs> there we go. So, Golden Spike Club, Gold Rush Gulch Railroad. Uh, and he's got the golden spikes on either side. Nice. And the beautiful kind of rainbow coming out of the top of the mm -hmm. train. And nice arcing tracks and the colorful train cars and... I don't know if that's supposed to be the sun, but it yeah, could be the sun coming out in behind. That is a great, gorgeous patch. So we'll be definitely <laughs> gunning for that yes. as soon as we get the game. 
Um, and I and I'm pretty sure he said that he's going to be making multiple tiers of patches as well, mm -hmm. like at least three. I think he said. So there'd be, you know, different uh, different levels depending on what score you get or mm -hmm. who knows what uh, what kind of things. So uh, right on, love the patches. Thank you for doing this fantastic design. I'll have to earn the patch. Cannot wait to add it to the others I received from Activision back in the day. Nice. Oh wow, some people have. Uh, yeah, I wish I wish I uh, was around for that to to get those to get patches. The patches yeah. So off to do the next best best thing and earn them now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to do. I've earned. I don't know. I should start the count and I should put earned patches because I've got mm. them all scattered about. But I I think I've gotten about nine maybe around nine so far i've earned goals for social distancing <laughs> yes yes yeah. that's right uh will the rest of the team uh zero page handle the review of your game <laughs> oh right <laughs> that's right be very very critical um actually it'll it'll be turned around because the rest of the internet can now review my game that's true and that's true. and they can be merciless but but i'll be asking for a lot of help so, you know, they'll be able to contribute and make it better. Well, if you if you have enough people helping contribute, then really they, they, no can't, excuse. they can't <laughs> criticize something they've helped. You know. Unless I don't implement it right or not at all. It's well, like, no, I dismiss true. all of yeah. your ideas. Mine are the best. You do not much know what you're talking <laughs> the about. will be just finishing. That's always the hardest part of anything. Well, yeah, that's it true. is. Yeah. Luckily, I, I'm pretty, well, I try to finish things. It, I just... It's not for a lack of wanting to finish them. It's a lack of time usually for Always. for for finishing yeah. things because I have a ton of projects in various stages yes. that I want to get finished. So uh, maybe yeah, I can. Especially when you're being paid for certain things and then other things are for hobbies, yeah. it's it's hard yeah. to prioritize. Yeah, those that that's what happens is the priority changes. Like the the paid stuff goes first because I've I've promised to do that for somebody. Yeah. For money, there's you know. There's an exchange of you know money for <laughs> for goods, and then you're beholden to them, yeah. or su things you've sunk a lot of money into, yeah. or things you're doing with other people as well. Yeah, because there's a, want... there's a pressure there. It's a lot harder to force yourself, but when when you've got other people relying on you, it's yeah. a different thing entirely. I and think. the trick is to release it when it's not ready because it's never going to be ready. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you have to hit that threshold that. 95 to 99 yeah. percent threshold where where it's maybe not good enough for you ever but the people out there that you're releasing it to won't notice that five percent they just they'll love it or they'll hate it and that five percent won't change that opinion of it i think there's a critical point where you start overthinking things too and yeah. you don't want to crush that threshold where you're just it gets worse sometimes. you're just nitpicking it and it's like you should have you should have just let it go like a long time a ago a long time ago yeah yeah so there's an old yeah. adage which is like prepare fire then aim the reality <laughs> is, is you need to fire first before you know what it is you've got obviously not a great analogy for certain places in life yeah. but if for something like creative projects you have to just try it and see how it goes and then adjust from there which is what the show hopefully does sometimes yeah, and Crack Drafter says, "Are you a perfectionist to a point?" <laughs> I I'm more of a an a over planner in, in some senses. I plan a lot for things, but that way I find it turns out better if you do a lot of planning because then you can fail at multiple points. But if you've over planned, those points are are kind of built in to the planning that they yeah. can fail, and the thing you're planning for can still go off just fine. And those things that do fail, nobody notices anyway, because they're mo mostly bonus things mm -hmm. that are like, oh, this is fine. What are you talking about? Everything went well. Mm -hmm. The subject is uh, just doing like doing projects and it's specifically Atari 2600 yeah. um, making video games. That, that's where it all spurred from, because I found a project to do first. And I think a port is good mm. because then I don't have to concentrate on the graphics or the sound like coming up with them they're already built in i know how it's supposed to play i know how it's supposed to look and i just have to you know try and get as, as close to that rather than coming up from from zero and try and make something and do game balancing i mean i would still have to do game balancing to make it work like the arcade version mm -hmm. um but i 
don't think it'd have to do as much work in a sense. I mean, there's there's still a lot of work to make it be like the arcade, but to make a game from nothing, I think is a lot harder in in a different kind of sense that you have to make it fun from no expectations. The 80-20 rule, yeah, I, I go to like 95-5 rule. <laughs> no, like, I, he's talking about something else d- different. Um, 80, it's easy to get to 80%, yeah. um, but beyond that, it's that last 20% that's hardly noticeable, but it's it's so important. And usually for video games, it's the... Whoa. <laughs> Sounds like dragon, d- digital dragon breath, like eight bit dragons. <laughs> um, it's it's those tweaks, those minor tweaks that just make the game really, really good. Yeah, I haven't heard of the ninety ninety rule. No. Um, uh, some comments from YouTube. Um, I should do this more often because we're getting quite a few comments now mm. on YouTube. <clears throat> Sisano says, uh, "I love your channel." And the passion you have for old Atari games. Bravo and Bravi, your friends. Um, is Bravi uh, the female conjugation of Bravo? Is the female version? Anyway, he says Bravi. <laughs> Bravo and Bravi, your friends. Well, thank you very much, Susano. Um, yeah, we love old Atari games and we love new Atari games, especially new ones. Yeah. Uh, perfection is also a problem with hobby projects. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're the only one that is really caring about it at the moment you're doing it until you release it you're the only one who really sees it right yeah once it's out there more other other people see it but you have to make it perfect otherwise you'd be like scared to release it into the world and boulder dash took nine years andrew says wow yeah and we'll be playing that next uh next episode on friday yeah Yeah. Because oh, because now we have a real Atari system, we can pop it in again. Oh, good, good, um, good. So good. we'll be torturing ourselves again with Boulder Dash because yeah. it's hard, yeah, so hard. <laughs> but I think last time we played it, we made it to another checkpoint. Yeah. So I'll have to review the footage to see what level we're on. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Martin Jeremy says, "Great bit, bunch of games this week. UFO LCD reminds me of Twenty Six Hundred Homebrew that came out a few years ago called Give Me My Pancake." And it was programmed by Mr. Atari. I'm not sure if you've covered it before. And we did. And I remember that game. Did you play that one, Erlen? Uh, Give me my pancake? No, I don't believe I did. I think, I, you, I think, I think you would remember great, th- <laughs> you'd remember that name, I think, if we did play I was going to say, I don't think it was me either. Because Must I have been think Darcy. I, I would have remembered that name. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's like the LCD games where you're just moving chunkily across the screen it's not smooth movement you know yeah. those lcd games yeah 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 yeah. um and there's pancakes going across the screen oh no yes yeah and yeah you've got a little thing and it bounces on yeah them. no i played that game you played it yeah okay. yeah yeah i remember yeah. that now yeah and um we're actually going to play another lcd types game next episode yeah it's like an octopus style game and there's an octopus game and watch um and that's one he modeled it after oh, okay cool yeah um and Malchito says, on the subject of UFOs, we also always assume they are from space. They could be interdimensional, they could be time travelers, or they could be from a civilization that lives inside the Earth. Oh, and one of my favorites is that uh, it's what's left of the Nazis. All just ideas, of course, there's no proof. But that doesn't mean it isn't possible. Uh, but regardless, I agree, space is unlikely. A species that could travel the distance would not worry themselves with us monkeys. Uh, one thing I love about Zero Page Homebrew, the side conversation. <laughs> yes, that is... I, re- I remember that one, chatting about aliens. That was good stuff. <laughs> That's my jam, man. Yeah, uh, and Crack Drafter says, I love alien stuff. Yeah. Yeah, um, Yeah, it is It is fun doing the side conversations and the conversations that get born out of uh, the video yes. games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that's that's a lot of what this show is. I mean, that's what it, the show is. Like you guys can play these games at home and, and, or you could just watch somebody playing them silently. I mean, there's lots of, um, YouTube channels like that. Probably not too many Twitch stream streams, but like YouTube's like there's let's plays, there's a hundred percent playthroughs where there's just nobody talking. Um, but so you could go see those and I'm almost, a lot of the games we play in here do have those, but you guys show up anyway, so yeah. <laughs> you must love us talking somewhat. 
<laughs> um, space is a brutal place. Uh, Andrew Davey, uh, programmer, had a bug. When I worked professionally, we had one such project. Programmer had a bug, couldn't find it. I couldn't find it either. Project was canned after about a year's work. Wow. That's a bad bug. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's Andrew Davey. Uh, and Azure says that never stopped Microsoft. Yeah, it doesn't stop a lot of... No. A lot of, it depends how bad the bug is, yeah. really. If it's like show-stopping bug or... But like just, to work on something for a year and just say, forget it, that's that's a lot of... That's pretty that's, bad. You're throwing away a lot of work there. Yeah. I think a lot of the reason why commercial products look the way they do is because of deadlines. Because when you're doing yeah. something yeah. In commercial, it just requires you to finish it in a certain period of time. Yeah. Versus homebrew projects can take nine years, as you guys said, and there is no problem. But yeah, if you got to... You got to put something on air. You got to deliver something by a release date. That's this why a lot of projects, I think, seem the way they do. It's more deadlines than it is creation. Yeah. Yep. Um, deadlines because of a deadline, or even deadlines, uh, monetary deadlines as well. It's like, well, every day costs X dollars, yeah. and we're running out of money, so we got to put it out the door. And it's a little bit different nowadays because um, they can release games and then fix them after they've been released. Just it it is a <laughs> You're robotic the whole speech except for the last word. But we kind oh, of no. kind of <laughs> understood you. Yeah. Um, okay now. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's really terrible what they can do nowadays and the 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 public is like beta testers for the game um uh, so let's get to the first game speaking of games and it is mr yo-yo and so let's switch over here and uh andrew davy says it was a inspector gadget game on the c64 i would have played that game that would have been awesome oh, oh. hold the middle button down Oh, I don't have. Just turned on. Oh, that would, would help. It would make a noise, though. They probably heard it. Um. Okay, Mr. Yo Yo, and this is an update from last time we played it. Last time we played it. Oh, yeah, everything is crazy here. Okay. That should help. Okay. Um. Last time we played it, there was no audio or very little sounds, I think. Uh, it's definitely doubling up. Yeah, something, something's going on here. One second. Why is everything outputting twice? That's really annoying. <laughs> it's kind of a neat effect, actually. <laughs> uh, kind of. <laughs> hmm. I keep forgetting I can shoot. It's been a while. How's it going? <laughs> uh, not good. Okay, let's try that. Oh, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> and dead. Well, not dead, but the game flipped out. Some line count problems. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> We're gonna have to switch to emulation. Luckily, we have backups. That's always good. So yeah, some line count issues there, Dave. M, on your latest build, which makes things flip out if they're not CRTs. So you keep playing until, because we do want to play this game, and we wouldn't be able to play it. If it <laughs> 
if we don't switch over to this. There you go. You can put that down. All right. Me? I'm fine. I'm fine. Work's been stressful, but other than that, it's been pretty good. <laughs> I can only imagine. I, I, feel, I feel like you guys have the greatest house of all time right now. <laughs> the greatest for, house for self quarantining. <laughs> yeah, man, it's like you have you have plenty of space. You got an alarm system. It's like a tank like <laughs> bunker. You have two cats. Yeah. It's, it's like, what more do you need? This is you're like ready for quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of anyone more well equipped. Everyone I know is screwed. Oh no. Uh, well, how are you doing over there? Well, yeah, you have a bit more space. That's got to be you got to be thankful for that. I'm, I'm thankful that I have some contracts that are keeping me alive. I lost my job at the at the college. Oh yeah. Um, because of not be, I should say that I, that sounds like it's personal. It wasn't personal. It's just the reality of where everyone's at. And uh, no, I don't know what the next year is going to look like for employment or anything. It's it's really interesting times. But I'll be all right. Um, my friends who are all in the service industry are oh, decimated. Yeah. And there's a lot of I think I, I don't know the on this community that I'm in. A lot of my friends might um, are planning on just going back to their hometowns and mm. leaving Vancouver because they can't afford it. And um, and yeah, it's going to be a really interesting mark on this city and this neighborhood. It's been a really interesting time. Yeah, it's going to depend a lot, I think, on how long things last and we're back. How quickly employers get back their 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 jobs and their positions and what happens. Are just like they work at restaurants, they work as baristas, and those are just positions that are just fully laid off. Yeah. The no signal game. Yeah, Sazur. Okay, so let's uh, check out uh, what the updates are. Um, uh, he says he fixed a bug that James pointed out in the show a few weeks back, which caused the bouncer to jump from the left edge of the screen almost halfway over towards the middle of the screen. Those are the blue guys that were bouncing back and forth. And it was a bit unfair because when they hit the edge of the screen, they like bounced like almost halfway back. So it made it very, very difficult. So in this game, uh, you collect the notes at the bottom of the screen um, and bring them up to the top of the screen. Uh, the first level, you don't need to earn the notes. They're just there. Yeah. Second level, you have to shoot the guys that are passing back and forth to um, get the notes. Um, and sometimes there's coins that automatically give you notes. Yes. Um, there's also a P, but that's new. So we'll have to learn about what that is. Yeah, I saw a P go uh, across the screen. Yeah, we'll have to figure out your, uh, your funny noises that you're going on in your robotic voice there. No, it's not doing it. No. And turning it down didn't do it either. I don't know what it is that's making it go robotic, because your video is fine. And if the video is fine, the audio usually is fine. It's when the video is bad, because they always make the audio very, very um, steady, because that's the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll have to, I'll have to experiment later. It's, it's fine for now. Okay. Um, a power up added. I added a power up, which I'm going to call the power pod. It's round, white, object. What is going on today? One of the lights just went out. Ah. Yes. It's infecting yeah. electronics now. Yeah. That is. show must go on we will persist um it appears very rarely so don't miss it as two functions i'll let you what figure out what those are if you shoot it you get 300 points and it does one thing if you collect it you get 3,000 points and it gets another so you definitely want to collect the p if you see it again but he's not giving a hint of what it does the p flies across the screen yeah it's a white p that flies uh, I'm going to add a, a couple other power-ups, but I'm running out of room again, and I didn't think those were good, good enough anyway, so I'll go with one power-up and leave it at that. Um, oh, I hate those guys. So it, oh, yeah. I 
they say go back across the whole screen. Is you going to try and shoot him or just go past him? I mean, he stays there. Now you got two to deal with. Now you got three to deal with. Oh, no. Okay. Sounds oh. added. Well, some of them anyway. About two-thirds of the audio has been added. Plus Programmers added in the house. <laughs> oh, excellent. Dave M. Programmer. So, uh, Dave, we tried to play the game on the uh, actual Atari system. Um, and it played for a bit. But then we had some uh, screen issues, which made it drop out on an, on, um, on LCD system. Because there's... It's probably jumping from 262 lines to something else. And when it jumps from 262, the Frame Meister or um, LCD screens don't know what to do with it because it thinks you're changing resolutions. So uh, you might want to look into your latest build to make sure it doesn't jump. Uh, yeah, there's a bit of a scan line issue. Oh, okay, so you're aware of it. That's right. That is good, but we're playing it on emulation now, so it can't jump. It just doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, you might be able to see it jump, but it will never cut out. Because it would, it kind of acts like a CRT would. It just takes input. It doesn't care what it is. It just like takes the input and puts it on the screen. Um, so what's new? Added a pause functionality with the uh, color black and white switch. That's always nice. You can now flip the switch to black and white to pause your game. Let's try that. Oh, you missed the P. Paused. Ooh, flashy oh. pause. Very nice. Sorry, did the spot bad spot. That's okay. Ah, oh, P. It's really hard to get those coins in the P. Oh, it's, as they yeah. should be. It's hard to get the enemies. The enemies. <laughs> Never mind the coins. Yeah. Uh, I've slowed down the enemies on level 4 and up, so what was the speed on the enemies in the original demo is now the highest possible speed, without the difficulty switch added. It's used for seven, uh, level 7 through 9. 4 and 6 are halfway through starting the speed up, uh, between the starting speed and the faster speed. As I was testing the game, I found that I could get to level 4 with all my lives intact, then they'd be wiped out in a matter of seconds. Hmm. So I eased up. More sounds added. I had a little charge tune when Mr. Yo-Yo rolls on. Da -da 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 -da. And added the sound effects for power-up. I may have added a couple others, but don't remember. Uh, he's rebuilding the kernel. Hope that takes care of it. Excellent. Um, what's left? I think only sounds left of some sound effects I want to add for the bonus round. This was February 14th. Um, plus a little bit of music um, my fiancé will eventually get around to doing for the cutscene for when Yo-Yo uh, rolls off the screen at the end of the round. He wants a title screen as well. Game menu and game variations. I'm thinking one or two players and a choice of starting level. That's a good idea. Uh, which I'm thinking is a good idea, so I'll try to include it. So, open question to anyone who's read this far. If I implemented such a game mode where one player controls movement and the other fires the lasers... How often should I switch those responsibilities? Well, that's a good addition. Should I switch them up with every successful notely rescued? That's not a bad spot to do it. Because you're... Coin! Coin! Coin bonanza! Coin bonanza! Oh, you got one. Oh. That's cool! That's cool! That's nice. Yeah, nice bonus. That good is one. Cool. Yeah, I think switching them off... Every time you get a note would be good for a two-player uh, co-op because you're safe at the top. Like, there would be a good time to do it. Um, or keep them same throughout the game and let the players decide when to pass the joysticks back and forth. Why not both? If you can include both, that would be amazing. Um, have two different variations, if you can, if you have enough room. But if you don't, uh, I don't know. If you had to include one, I mean, both good. But one gives you the option of trading by switching the joysticks. And the other one doesn't. It forces you to trade whenever. Because the other one, you could trade every level. I don't know. If you can include both, I would do both. Oh, the P. Um, once all that is complete, then I think I'll take time to try to solve the flicker issues. That would be good, because there's a lot of flicker. Unnecessary flicker. 
because they're all in their same oh, they're all in their different lines so there's absolutely no need for flicker but he's um programming in batari basic right yeah yo yo mama follow up mrs yo yo i presume nope yo yo mama no <laughs> Ms. Ms. Yo -Yo. oh audio is all done <laughs> Ms. yo yo yeah do the pac-man route that's right uh, and I think that's it. Anything else that needs to be done? Uh, so another open question. Anyone who's read this far, how are the sounds? Oh, they're pretty good. Yeah, very appropriate. Um, I mentioned at the start of this thread, I had done games in Visual Basic but never created any sound effects. Most. Oh, you're dead? Yeah. Okay. Multiple times. <laughs> this is not um, my first death. So halfway Whereabout? through there. Okay. Most of the games were done to kill time at work. I used to work a lot of temp jobs, and companies would bring me in for something they thought would take 90 days. Then I'd go and write an Excel macro and have the whole job finished by lunch on day one. <laughs> I hear that's, that's, that's how you do. pretty, yeah. Pretty calm. A lot of IT jobs work. Uh, usually they'd let me go, and I'd end up cheating myself out of 89 days of work. So I started writing these games using the user forms in VBA for Excel and, ex and Access, just to kill time. But of course, I'd never add sound, since they were designed to be played at work. I'm hoping to port a couple of them to the 2600 someday, but anyway, first time doing audio, no musical ability whatsoever, hope everything sounds okay. I think it sounds great. Yeah, it sounds it, it feels very traditional and arcadey to me. The yep. uh, the the sounds. Okay. Um. Then you just skip ahead to his next his next post. Maybe anywhere. Dave M. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh hello. For, for Hi Tari. Come here. Atari, say hello to Erlen. Can you see Erlen on the screen? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a sweet cat. Oh. You have to walk by and we'll let him out. <laughs> we'll put him on the balcony and you can wave to him. Yeah. <laughs> were, you, were you doing this a thing when you guys were growing up? Was oh. Was there a phase where you were just trying yes. to impress people by doing all your Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I can... I can do a couple things with a yo-yo. I could walk the dog. I could do cat's cradle. Um, yeah. I could, yeah, I could do a few things. I could do I both of those. Enemy, UFO? Yeah, I don't know what the UFO, I well, you do the round the world. Yeah, I could do that. I could sometimes kind of do that. But that was when the yo-yo branded, like, wooden yo-yos were the big thing, and you'd have different colors. I think mine was, ah, was I only got yellow. One as well. I had a yellow. I had a red one. Yellow, yeah. I still have it. Do you? Yeah. Somewhere. About, uh, uh, six months. Like really cool. You'd be, cool. Up, you'd be the, the top dog. <laughs> and then a, a Pokemon came out on Game Boy. And, and it was all over? I was like, okay, I'm done with these games. There's some JRPGs. Mm. Started over. Mm -hmm. JRPGs. Yeah, I think yo-yos come in and out of, uh, of uh, fashion. Especially when you don't have video. Oh, frozen. Oh, there you go. Yeah, if you don't have video games, yo-yos are everything. <laughs> it's true. That's the best. That's like the ball on the string. <laughs> <laughs> ball it's on true. a string and a ball on a... What is it? A ball on a string and a cup. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like 1923. Yeah. Don't yeah. knock that. That's not an easy thing to do. <laughs> it's very hard. <laughs> I'm always... It's less say Pokemon Red. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Azura says house cats live in quarantine every day. Yeah. Oh yes. I, you do. I have to say so at Prisoners. lunch I technically am working from home right now. And uh, technically you're working from home. Te well, I am you working, are working from, from, home. from home. I say technically because it feels like the most inefficient working environment I've ever lived in. But anyway. Um, <laughs> and there's cats. And there's cats. Good bonus. Constant, constant uh, distractions. But um productivity is at an all time low for everyone working at home. Well, yeah, yeah. and it's uh, there's this funny psychological game that keeps getting played with me where people keep talking about all these lovely projects they're working on right now and so all i can think about is i want to knit i want to paint i want to and i'm at home going i don't want to read this scientific article this is not what i want to be doing right now so yeah it's uh it's very 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 uh hard to stay productive i oh, think red is your timer is it I, um, uh, yep. early on 
associate um, activities with locations. So uh. if you anything done, it would, would be I'd pick the coffee shop and do it, but it's really hard to work from home because you associate relaxing and not working. So I think that's what everyone's struggling with now is that you all your entire cells are telling you not to work. Yeah. Because this is not the place you want to do that. You have a different association with that's well, why there's always a suggestion to set up a desk, a little office space at your house, yeah. away from distractions, away from where you normally do your work. I uh, do that you really. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so his last update, um, which is this one, I think. Oh no, it's not. Uh, I've added a little tune for the game over sequence. Once that's done playing, you can start a new game by pressing the joystick button. Oh. Oh, a nice tune. That yep. was me dying. Which is also good because there's, like a, there's a delay yeah. now between dying and starting a game so you don't ac accidentally press the button, which everybody should always put in their homebrew. Mm. So that, especially with games that you fire the button a lot. Mm. Um, um, so you can continue on from there. And I'm going to play this for some reason. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, for some reason, I seem to be having some scan line issues again. Every now and then I'll Jesus. jump to 263 Terrible. scan lines and I have no idea why. I've kind of hit a bit of a wall with this for now. And on top of that, I've caught one hell of a nasty puck. Oh no. This February 21st. Uh, I still have it. <laughs> lately. Patient zero. Lately, I'm either coughing my head off or the meds have kicked in and my head's in a complete fog. So I'm in no mood to start debugging that stuff right now. If anyone wants to have a look at the code and figure it out or point me in the right direction, I'd appreciate it. If not, I'm sure I'll get to it eventually. Once I'm back to normal, the next thing I'll tackle will be that kernel. I'll start going over that, that the code that Dennis suggested and see if I can figure something out. I'd like to get that set before starting on game menus or anything. When Andrew Davy suggested in the chat that it would be good to have the sprite um, slide on the screen instead of just pop on the screen. So like you, slide in from the side. Yeah, so... Ah, um, see, when they get to the edge, they go pop, mm. rather than half of them goes, quarter of them goes, you know, like that. Yeah. I think he made a comment on another game we're playing like that as well. So it must be a Atari Basic thing. Or maybe... That they sort of... It was the fish game. Uh, oh, yes. The... Yeah, I can't remember. But it was a fish game. The fishing one. No, what were we? It was something fishy. It was the last, it was the last one we Last played. episode. Um, with the sharks. Yeah. I can't remember. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. It was pretty good, but he, I think the same comment about the, the enemy sliding in. From the I mean, it's a very valid comment yeah. because, ah, oh, that guy's so fast. Okay. Uh, oh, this is not made in basic. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I finally started testing my game outside of Stella, mainly, mainly because the button on my game controller broke playing this damn thing so much. Uh, the game seems to work great on the flashback portable. When I loaded it onto my Retron 77, I'm, I'm having issues with the system dropping some of the audio. I've downloaded the latest version of Stella for the Retron, but I've noticed a lot of games have a bit of a lag when it comes to the audio. Anyone know a quick fix for that? Anyway, I found the game is damn near impossible to play using an Atari joystick. Kind of made me question whether or not to continue with it. Oh, no! <laughs> no, continue! What are you doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, playing it on Stella and on the flashback portable, I can usually break... A Hundred thousand quite easily. Oh, okay. uh, not for us. Uh, ten wow. might be nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you're curious, and I can't imagine anyone is, the score to beat is three hundred and sixty-five thousand two hundred and eighty. Jeez. <laughs> but using the Atari joystick, I couldn't get past the first couple of Just caves. Being... First couple caves. What am I reading? Um, are these caves? These are caves. Oh, gotcha. We didn't read the original instructions. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Uh, the split second you lose trying to swing that big joystick back and forth makes shooting the enemies really quite difficult. On the bright side, when I switched to their new Ranger controller, it worked much better. Okay. The audio lag was still throwing me off, but at least it was playable. The one bright spot about testing it on the Retron is that it prompts me to go add the code to reset the game with the joystick button. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Always, always reset with the joystick button. If you can minimize the controls on the actual system, that's always better. 
How are you doing? I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Those blue guys, they just, those ones that bounce back and forth on the line. Oh, man, those are hard. When yeah. did we play this? It was quite a while ago. It should be in the notes on the That's okay. uh, keep. It was quite a while ago. Yeah, it was Before we had uh, sounds or many sounds. Or I think there were some sounds. Some sounds. I, I do not like those blue guys, though. I think they maybe go... There we go. I don't know what the bonus is there. I think it kills everything on the screen, maybe? Oh, yeah, for a while, maybe. But last time I shot it and I got all gold coins. I think that's yes, what happened. Yes, yes. Yeah. I did too. On one of my games. How many spaces is your tab set to? Do? It's programming. Hey, down, ABC. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to shoot the blue guys. They're so hard. I mean, it's so hard to shoot anything. They're so fast when they start bouncing. Try, try that guy from the top. There we go. I'm just not concentrating. So, Aaron, with your college job, will that likely come back around in the beginning of term next year? Or? Cutscene, Dave M. That was awesome. <laughs> I got to the bonus cave and, and got a ton. Oh, and that's oh, I got an extra man. Good. Yeah, so I guess I guess online options are were never an option for for you guys, or I guess you know it's well, in there's um, one of the challenges they face uh, is some discipline. Uh, online and other pudding. Ones yeah. Bonus round. Shoot 15 targets. Excellent. Wow, I made it to the bonus round. Yay, 30,000. <laughs> and, um, yeah. and then there's a, a deeper issue, which is that um, a students paid for an education that they're not getting. Because although they can transition to online, that's not they didn't pay for an online college no. they paid for. So, yeah. it's, so it's just a myriad of stuff as Ugh. I've been dealing with so many emails. It's, it's actually interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've just kind of... Um, doing my thing to try to, you know, solve all the problem I can my students just to, just to help them out because everyone's been super concerned with what's going on and, um, and, and yeah, really I don't think it'll be until September that um, there's even a chance to begin to start up again for education and even then it's hard to say. It's probably a year before we're back to normal. Yeah. It's really hard to say. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> so the last update... The one we're playing, if you want to play one more game. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a while, but I finally have a new update. Here's what's new, and this is why we're playing playing the game. A new audio alert plays when the bonus gem shows up in the bonus cave, which I just got, which was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, did you just die? Yeah. Start your That's terrible. Um, <laughs> previously, a two-tone note uh, alert played, but I felt the game needed something more distinctive when the gem showed up. Every now and then, the alert won't play, but I can't figure out why. I've added this to my known issues. Audio has been added to the intermission. This completes the audio for the game. Awesome. Audio is done. The live's remaining icon will now show a sad face when the Mr. Yo-Yo animation is showing a sad face during the death sequence. And while the player is stunned, go off and watch that. So the little... Yes. Icon. He goes sad. Yeah, no, oh, I noticed that. Yeah. That's so awesome. <laughs> I've died many times. Not sure anyone noticed that. So you did. Oh, yeah. That's and I awesome. found it to be a bit misleading. That seems to indicate the game was over when it wasn't, so now the icon mimics the player animation. 
Okay. Um, when playing the game, I noticed that the snipper is a real pain. We didn't even make it to that. We're terrible. There you go. Get the coins. Zero coins. One, two, zero. Oh, you got two. That's pretty good. Uh, he's the game's signature enemy, so I didn't want to remove him, but he seems to have too much of an advantage. Over the past couple of weeks, I tried numerous things to offset this advantage, but I couldn't get those to work. I settled on what I call the snipper sniper bonus. Works like this. Shoot three snippers in any single cave, and the snippers will no longer spawn in that cave. Once triggered, if the game tries to spawn a snipper, it will spawn a coin or a power-up instead. No visual audio cue to signal when you accomplish. You'll just notice there's no more snipper. You'll see more coins. The bonus lasts for the duration of that single coin. Oh, that's close. Good job. Single cave only and rests, resets upon entering a new cave. It also resets if you lose a life. If you die, you must shoot another three snippers to get this bonus. Oh, sad face. Yep. Happy face. Um... Uh, the new bonus comes in very handy in the orange caves when you need to shoot three enemies to trigger a note to appear. Then you have to make eight rescues to clear the cave. Having no snippers around is a big bonus. Big plus. We haven't made it to the orange, uh, orange cave because we suck at this game. We suck. Uh, as I've been working on the game, I've come to the realization that I st the way I stored the audio data is about as inefficient as I possibly could do. Uh, I pretty much filled up my second bank with audio data. For this release, I changed much of that and freed up a good 300 bytes or so. I combined the two control arrays into one and did the same with the volume array, storing data for the two audio channels into one byte rather than two. And more programming information that you can read if you like. Um, but it's, it does note that it does jump to 263 scan lines. And also I'm noticing that uh, the enemies also go down one scan line as they traverse the screen from right to left and they go up a scan line as they traverse from left to right as well. Um, oh, and you can see that ghost just went down. Oh, we got it. Oh, you shot it. Okay. Up. And then... What am I... What, what? No, not you. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, they go up and down about three quarters of their path along their route if you notice on the screen. Um, and Dave M says that's a problem with the current current kernel. Okay, good. You know about it. Um, next up is that kernel. I'm trying to start to look through the code for the various games that Dennis suggested, see what I can do. Um, I mean, probably the that little movement down is not a huge deal. The, the line skipping is definitely a big deal. That's like a game breaker, depending on what system you're playing on. That's going to blank out the screen if anybody plays it on LCD screens. Like me. Um, but excellent, excellent updates. Great updates for the sound and the animation. And somehow we're doing worse playing it than we used to. Uh, yeah, it before. I think we did better last time. <laughs> it might just be out of practice because we played for quite a while last time. I hate these blue guys. Do they spawn randomly? Yeah, just random. Because it seems like at a certain point you I mean, end up overwhelmed by them, but. I mean, they just add up, really. It's definitely easier to kill them from the top because. Oh, heck yeah. Because then you have the whole screen to shoot them. The only problem is you have to watch on your way back up that you don't run into anything else. Stress me out, man. Yep. I've got half, half your time left. Oh, oh not on one of the gray ghosts. <laughs> the worst way to die. They're like big fluffy gray clouds. Random spawning, eight digits, alternating frames. Eight digits. It is random spawning. Because yeah. I find sometimes, yeah, sometimes, Woo! oh, it does turn to get it. it. clears the screen and makes it go crazy. <laughs> oh, no! You let go of the button. Yeah. Oh. 1100. Yeah. You want to try? I want to do one more. One game. more? Okay. Because I feel I have been doing so poorly at this because I've just been not concentrating. Baldur's Gate 
series coming up. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Just random little musings on Reddit and places like that, but that sounds really exciting to me. Really? Oh, no. It's just gonna be exciting to see it. Wow. That's not a good I sign. I haven't I haven't read too much about the gameplay or or I mean I presume it's an RPG and it's gonna be similar to the previous games, but like as far as the strategy and, and how the system runs, so I don't know if you have, but um yeah, we'll oh, just have to see. Oh, you know me, I'm always on that. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh it's it's really cool. It's, it looks very exciting. Yes. Uh, a game called Pimp. Uh, took the Baldur's Gate style and kind of it into what it is now. Mm. So it looks like they're kind of borrowing from their, their people a little bit. It's, it looks very exciting. That's the only game I'm really stoked to play that's coming out. Yeah. So RPGs for me personally. Well, there's, uh, what is it? Cyber, uh, what is it? Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, Cyberpunk 2077 sounds good too. But that, that got pushed. Yeah. It was supposed to come Oof. out in the spring and um, uh, yeah, they, now it's a year off or something. They yeah. can take their time on that to make yeah. that perfect. Um, the new Half-Life looks really good. Makes me want to get a VR system. Have you seen uh, uh, video footage of that, Erlen? I haven't seen any. I love the, the first and second one, though. Um, the first game is one of the first games I played, and I love, and I absolutely loved it. And then the second one oh, is yeah. incredible. The gravity gun is one of the greatest Amazing. video game ideas of all time. Oh, yeah. Well, they a say they can barely hear me. You were quiet for a second there. I think you're a little bit louder now. Turn them up a bit. <laughs> oh, so far, oh like, Jesus. Unanimously all of them said that I can't really hear well, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn it you up. were a little quiet. You were for a second. I think you, you, you um, sat back a bit. So. so I have to collect Try these that. and not shoot them? I think I have to collect them because I was shooting well, them before. The game sounds are drowning me out. So I think oh, I turned down the game sounds now. Okay. So, so that's probably helped a bit. Yeah. So this is a bonus round. Yeah, and I think I'm supposed to collect them. I was shooting them last time. But oh, no, it looks like you're... I didn't get the diamond. Maybe I was supposed to shoot them. Uh, oh, my God. How many blue things do I need here? There we go. You're much better at shooting them than I am. They actually get faster. They do really fast. Like, like, like they're slow and then they're like, fast. bing, 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 bing. Like, hard fast. Not like too bad, I guess, but not good. Come like on. little perpetual motion machines. They just get faster. Their energy, their kinetic energy starts going up. <laughs> ah, there. Three thousand. Far, far from. Oh no, snippers. Are those snippers? Yeah. So you want to stay at the top? Ah, well, you you've gotten to the snipper level, so that's yep, cool. Yep, that is good. Never made it last time, did we? Nope. We didn't see them last time. Maybe we are doing a little bit better this time. Well, you are. <laughs> Ugh, blue guys. Oh, they keep coming. Ah! Oh my God! Stop invading my screen. Work my way down to the note. Ugh. I'll try to get rid of these snipper guys. Oh. Too many blues. <laughs> Too many blues. Now, now my note's gone. The snipper thing looks like sewing snippers. The ones that have. Oh, they look like zombie hands to me <laughs> going across the screen. Like I, it's just just because they're green, I guess. Oh my god, this level is really hard. Oh, he didn't cut you. Oh, he, pa he pauses you. That's good. Well, it's not, and then, then it's not for a second. Oh. There we go. Well, there we do. There we go. We made it to at least the snipper guys. Mm -hmm. Yay. They stun you if they touch your string. That's another issue I haven't resolved yet. 
oh, how come the 34 digits are closer to the other digits? Oh, yeah, you can see the 35 there. It's like oh, squished in a bit. Oh, slightly. Yeah, yeah. Not, not a big deal. Those weren't the snippers? Oh. Well, whatever they did, they, he made me pause. And I couldn't move up. Okay, so I didn't make it to the snippers yet. <laughs> More to go yeah. on the next time we play it. When you've uh, Probably when you've completed the game next time. It's the next time we'll play it. Um, so the next game is, oh, there we go, is Abyss of Chernobyl. And um, this is a very, very involved game. And I think I played it with um, Erlen. Mm. We played one of the levels where we have to s shovel snow off a roof really quickly or you die. I'm, I think I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's switch back over to 2600. Hold down the metal button, please. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so this was first posted July 22nd, 2019, and this build is from March 20th, uh, 2020, so a couple days ago. It's a 64K game, very big. Um, it's made by Farajana Zoltan. Uh, aka member Atarian. So all five episodes are done because he had the game is in five sections. Um and I think he had one or two done before, so we were only able to play that. So press the button. Go to today's date. Mm -hmm. Um it, the manual's been released and also an overlay for the game. Mm, there. Overlay. Uh, Manuals. Yeah, don't Are we NTSC or pal? We are NTSC. <laughs> pal is your <laughs> ask every time. <laughs> Everything you have is NTSC and PAL. It's to the point that I cannot remember which is the correct one. Are we like, what was this? Shoveling snow off a roof? What was that? Yeah, there's like radioactive snow on a roof. Oh, so you're shoveling fallout? Yeah, kind <laughs> of like that, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Have you seen that TV show about Chernobyl? It's really crazy. I think this is kind of uh, inspired by that show. That's a show you really like, right? I've never seen it. Oh. It probably would be one I'd like. It sounds so I recommend it. sounds I'm dismal sure and. I'm sure you're not, you know, <laughs> done. You know, you're not deprived of things to do. Yeah, I have a lot of things to do. Um, but they made an overlay for this game, mm. and I believe I'd try to look it up, but I've only seen one other overlay ever made for a game, and that's Space Shuttle. And what it is, is you put it over top of your 4-switch or 6-switch Atari 2600. Oh, the machine itself. The machine itself. Oh, okay. Not like a Vectrix so, overlay. No. Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't go over the screen. That's what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> I was system. picturing that. I'm like, huh, how would you print out an overlay that would fit all uh, CRT monitors? <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't work. <laughs> so that it tells you what each of the switches does in relation to the game. Rather than, oh, this black and white color, and you have to remember, oh, that pauses the game. Mm -hmm. It would say pause on it. Nice. Yeah. Oh, did you press start? Yeah. Oh, Should okay. I not have? Um, no. Oh, no. And shut down. <laughs> Might have to do emulation on this one, too. We'll oh. see how it goes. Oh, 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 that's sparkly. Um, so there's five different games, and you picked one of them. I did. Um... So let's go to the instructions. <laughs> so we'll know which one, what I this is going don't on. don't seem to be able this, to impact anything right now. What is going oh, on? Oh, and I think this might use two joysticks, depending. Okay. So you picked AZ5. You gain control of the reactor. You have to use, you have to do the test Dyatlov failed or just cause the meltdown. Use the overlay you got for the game. Let's not pick one we have to use the overlay okay. for. <laughs> Fair Let's enough. start off a little bit slower, okay? Oh, I should have just reset. Press the button. Uh, Star Raiders had an overlay for the keyboard. Yes, mm. it did, but not the game itself. And I mean that there's overlays for the big um, blue Sesame Street input pad as well, I believe. Um, let's start with the shovel one. Uh, the game number five, 90, called 90 Seconds. Mm -hmm. 
So the manual says, uh, in this second, something happened to mankind that was never seen before. Many countries were in grave danger and a huge part of Europe witnessed pollution and radiation. Many sacrificed their own lives so others can survive. In their place, how far could you progress? Made by Atarian and Retronics. Mm -hmm. This is the survival guide. Okay, press button. So pick game number five. Which is? 90 seconds. There okay. You go. So 90 seconds. You control the soldiers on the roof one by one. On the bottom, you see the whole number of soldiers and the time left for the current soldier. In the upper left corner, you can see the number of soldiers available for the level. You don't have to press fire, you auto-grab graphite. So it's graphite. Uh, you don't have to throw it away on the left. You have to throw it away on the left or the right side of the building. You can stuck in the waste, like in episode 4D. It's not a bug, it's a feature. Oh, you can get stuck in the waste? Oh. Uh, you have to wait for death if you get stuck. <laughs> so you're just there for 90 seconds? Is that the idea? I think most of these games, you just die. You just die. That's oh, I think, very depressing. I think he has voice samples in between each levels. And that's why it's blanking the screen because he's not doing a 262 line. So you'd have to play this on a CRT. So if you have a CRT, it's going to blank out and you won't be able to hear the voice samples. Or you can play it on emulation, which we might want to change to again. You said left or right? Yep. So whatever's closest. Awkward. Almost got it cleared, and you go one second. Oh died. my goodness! You melted. I was going as fast as I could there. Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> I can't. I get stuck. <laughs> Try another piece. I can't pick anything up. It's supposed to be auto grab, right? Oh, yep. There you got that one. There you got that one. Maybe you do. I don't know. Slide into the from the left. No. Ugh. There, there you go. go. Maybe from that side. No. 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 Straight on. No. From the left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, there you go. go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Goes you even more. <laughs> I think all of these games, you just end up like you're going to die. You're going mean, to die most, once you're... I mean, yeah. most Atari games, you can't complete. <laughs> you die anyway. But I think this one, it's like there is no end for this because everybody oh, goes to a a very bad end <laughs> in Chernobyl. It's a horde mode game. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna win the zombies. No matter what. It's it's how long you can hold out for. Nobody makes overlays for the kid keyboard. Nobody ever makes overlays for the Melts. kid keyboard. Yeah, that somebody should make an over I, I think that kid keyboard would be a great input device for an RPG game because it's huge and you have a lot of room for um, saying what each of the keys does. If I ever make an RPG game, I would definitely make it, make the second controller that big blue input device so that you can switch back and forth between inventory and just various, various input things. I mean, it's, it's a direct one-to-one -one mapping for the Star Raiders control, too. So maybe you make two of them. Oh, oh two no, guys no. left. Or one. Nope. Oh, zero. Looks like our guy has uh, had some trouble accidents. Oh. His limbs are a little long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's, he's, he's giving off a nice red game. glow, too, you know? Like, <laughs> oh, my. Uh, he's, he's, he's probably seen some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is not his first. <laughs> You're radiated. Rooftop. Yeah. Oh, Azura says he's planning to add keyboard support to his game. Oh, excellent. Keypad support. Okay. Captain Class says, like, global thermal nuclear war, the only play way to, to win, win is, is not, not to, to play. play. Yeah, exactly. The sound of silence uh, plays at the end. Does it? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's what the name uh, of the song is. I do like the red figure, though. He's really creepy. Yes, and it's I super <laughs> creepy. Um, yeah, have you seen Slenderman? He looks like Slenderman. A me? little bit, yeah. yeah. And with with a mask on. It's like he's got the, um, the... Yeah. Can I even complete one level? I think I'm just close to this side now. Ah, no. I'm messing up. No. Twelve. 
four, three, two, one. Oh, meltdown. I think you could probably complete it if you're like perfect. Yeah. You know what would be an interesting feature? Come on. Get if it. The dead body then becomes um, like a sludge or <laughs> more? becomes more of the graphite you have to show. Oh, that would be good. <laughs> That's a good idea. It's like your brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you got to shovel him off too. <laughs> Throw it. Throw it. Your comrade, they have to go off the roof. You know? Yeah, well, you know, it's the way it is. Yeah, I'm it's trying to sad, think of what but... he reminds me of, that red glowing dude. Well, he's got a gas mask on. He Ooh, does have a gas mask on. I hide inside. I almost, like, yeah, the, uh, Definitely something off of, like, one of the, what is it, Half-Life with the big, horrible, brain-eating things? Oh. I watched you play it. I never with, played Half-Life. On the head? Like, yeah. The thing that jumps on the head. Oh. Oh. I don't know. What is it? I face what face eater or whatever? <laughs> well. Something like that. They look like face huggers. Well, but, yeah, but. But they're not. Anyway. I can't remember what they're called. Mildly reminds me of that. Yeah. The dead bodies with the. Yeah. Anyway. Twenty-seven. So this this game is a, a compilation of five mini games that don't affect each other, right? Mm. And. Uh, Let's see it. There should be a puddle there. Game over. Why yeah. does it say, say three there though? It has three. You have three. At the oh, at the top. Oh. What was that three at the That's bottom? That's how many you have. I can't remember what they said. The 90 seconds clock is fast, yes. It appears yeah. to be one unit equals 0. 0.5 seconds. It's 0. 0.5 seconds. They are time units. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not time. Yeah. Okay, so let's go on to another All one right. of the games. I mean, we had played that before. Um, so, okay, Black Raven. Play that one. Oh. oh no, I pushed uh, it, I pushed it, sorry. Why are you pressing buttons? <laughs> why are you pressing buttons? Why are you pressing buttons? <laughs> why are you pressing buttons? <laughs> Come on, play your sample that we can't hear. Oh, and can't Atari is it. not phased. <laughs> oh, he's, he's just, he likes to be around us. He knows you're watching, Erlen. He misses you. <laughs> okay. Oh, buddy, okay. Andrew Davies says, for some reason, I really love the sprite for that guy when he's holding something on his shovel. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. It's yeah. really good. Black Raven. It's good little pictures there of, of the top representing yeah, yeah, yeah. the games. No, they're pretty good. And we can't hear the uh, It'll sample. It'll flashback. Okay. You are a young liquidator. Liquidator? liquidator. There is a bulky yet scrolling scenery. Uh, you can shoot straight up and while ducking. Killing or touching dogs decreases your mental health. Oh, well, you should have told me that before <laughs> I just shot the dog. Why are you shooting dogs? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, shooting the rate. That's right. <laughs> exactly. They're rabid dogs. They gotta be put <laughs> down. Shooting the raven uh, restores your mental health. Shooting the raven. Yeah. Your, your mental health? Yes, yeah. mental health. There is mental health in this uh, mini game. I don't know. What is There's it? a raven. But I can't shoot the raven. Oh, maybe when he takes off. There he goes. Oh, no. Oh, it's black on black. Well, what's going on? This um, is weird. Shooting, select, setting the left difficulty switch to A will make the song distorted, re representing your mental health. Okay. Your mental health. But I'm not shooting dogs. I'm just shooting ravens. I'm very confused by this. Oh, we just... Yeah, don't shoot dogs. Shoot ravens. That's... But, but is that it? That's the instructions. So I'm not... Shoot I'm not, it! But he just increases my mental health. But I don't... I don't... But you've got points. You've shot something for points. Shoot it! Shoot it! <laughs> oh, that's the end of that level. So kind of a ch oh somebody's hanging. There's a cross, a building. There's some. There's a but I can't go gallows up. ready I to be. I just shoot up. I shoot forward. I can duck. That's it. Yeah. But there's there are no zombies or anything. Just ravens and dogs. It's definitely the wasteland. Oh, I'd rather be this guy than having to shovel my roof. Well, that's very true. That's a <laughs> yeah. very good point. It's a little <laughs> a little bit better. Yeah. Andrew Davies says, this one doesn't work for me, the game visuals. Okay, yeah. You and, know, it's, it's very dark. Yeah, very dark. It's black on black. 
You haven't shot anything yet. I shot one raven. Oh, okay. And that still feels wrong. I don't know. <laughs> it's like so, Mad Max, because what are the what are the animals in Mad Max? There was just ravens, right? Was raven and his dog. His yeah. dog in the original one, but in like uh, Fury Road, there was just ravens, wasn't there? I don't yeah, think there's oh, any. Oh, I got one. Oh, he's biting you. Yeah, and different humans. But yeah, I think it's just ravens. But there's no dot. So this is kind of Mad Maxi. Yeah, because there was those weird raven people who would walk on stilts. Those That's... Were my favorite parts. <laughs> That's right. Just unexplained stilt people mm. walking go around. Shot and just go by. Yeah. I mean, they're walking in mud, so it's smart to be on those stilts, even though it would be super hard to walk in stilts in mud. Like, you'd get stuck. You'd have to walk really slow and have a lot of arm strength and foot strength to pull it out of the mud. Might be <laughs> might need therapy after playing. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 my mental health is really going down now. He's biting your legs, that's why. Well, no, he's not. He's not doing anything to my score, though. It's just about shooting ravens. Maybe the back, <laughs> maybe the background indicates... Your mental illness. How, how close you are to death. <laughs> Because how do you die? I guess your mental health goes down? I guess so. But there's no there's no indication of your mental health. Oh, See? Uh, okay. So that's your mental illness, but I don't know... So, I, like, normally shooting birds is a sign of um, that you're not doing so No, much. not the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> you're riding down the streets with a gun. <laughs> saying, yeah. this is for my health. <laughs> it's for my health! <laughs> yeah. The dogs! The dogs! <laughs> the dogs. <laughs> Don't shoot the dogs! The dogs talk to me! They make me crazy! I gotta shoot the birds! Why don't you shoot the dogs? No, it's worse! Uh, you sounded like Bernie there for a second. <laughs> I wasn't trying to imitate him. Some generic crazy person. Yeah. But... I kind of want to see his mental health decline, though. Nice so go maybe I, I, should, just, I yeah, should just sit there. just go for it. I'm just gonna sit there. Oh, here it goes. black, but you don't, so it's hard to tell where you are. You wow. Know? It is. There you go. see, like, when the raven flies up into the darkness, and that would be awesome for the player, because then you can kind of see where your gun is when you're over the black. Yeah, that would be helpful. Gray. But black yeah. on black is very challenging. Yeah. And they've already got it for the raven, and you can just do it for the player as well. Yeah. Yep. So that's uh black raven part might need therapy after playing yeah that's her. <laughs> so let's play hellgate hellgate you have to fight the fire with bor boron boron going too close to the radiation will kill you touching the graphite will also kill you the graphite can block the boron as well on the right refuel the boron on the right oh we played this i remember this this was very challenging and you failed it Ah, uh, that's a very good question. Isn't it an element on the periodic table? Like, that's it is. That's all I know about chemistry. Uh, I guess I got the generic. Yep. What is going on? I don't understand. You have to swing the boron and let it go into the fire. How do I do? Oh. By moving oh, back and forth. Do you remember this one? I played this one. Yeah, I remember <laughs> this one. Yeah. So here, is, let me... Is the trick too? Yeah. It's really weird. Oh, yeah, yeah you have to press reset. I remember when I did it. Yeah, this oh. one is a... A little hard to figure out, but you have to like. Oh, oh. but then you drop it, and then yep. you have to pick it up. You have to get another one. All right, and then you drop oh, it. Reactor control rods are off the thing. Oh, we can't get too close. Oh, reactor control rods. Okay. The what? What? Reactor control rods are made of boron. There oh. we go. You have to fly, let it swing, and then let it go. Fly forward. Oh, too late. Obviously, boron absorbs, um... Neutrinos says neutrinos. Neutrinos, okay. Neutrinos. Um... It absorbs the radiation. Ah. Like, whatever is getting released. Whatever particles. I have B1 left. This is weird. <laughs> It's, it's it's kind strange. Of, uh, yeah. yeah. I remember playing it. Once you figure it out, it's it's actually fairly easy. Yes. Um, but it's the mechanic it, of it. Like the game ever. Yeah. Oh, can you reset it? 
I'm gonna give it one more try and then I'll let you <laughs> try. Try. <laughs> Once I kind of figure it out for sure. You got one in there. I did. Oh, you have to get it on the upswing. That's the thing. Fly over. And then while it's swinging towards you it. You release it? Yeah, you press the button to release oh, it. Oh, I think I was like pressing the button continuously. I don't think that was that, helping me too much. That would be an issue. <laughs> ah, you can't, you can't fly over it. Can't no, get too you close. can't get too close. Yeah. Because they. It's too easy to just drop it into it straight down, so that wouldn't... Can't be too far away. Can't release too early. Ugh. Why is it not... It's so hard! So hard! Ugh, oh, I played too close. Right into the flame. Oh, no, I think there's something else to it. Damn it. It's like, no. If you move too fast, you just drop it. Oh, oh you like move that. backwards. You move backwards? Yeah. Pick. Well, I'm out of it. Don't have any left. And Time to die. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you move towards it, then it's backwards back and throw kind of it. Flick it. Yeah. Of yeah. That okay. was the trick. Yeah, that sounds right. I remember that now. I don't remember the yeah. trick, but now that you say it, I remember that. Being fly. The case. Exactly. You fly towards it, then back a bit, and let go. No, you went too close. <laughs> right into the flames. <laughs> right into but the I tried flames. to do that, and it didn't. And press a button. Oh. You have to press a button to let go. There you go. It didn't work. But it, but you missed it. That was the thing. There you go. Perfect. Oops. Gotcha. And I think we were successful. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, I remember getting as close to beating this as you can. <laughs> yes. I think most of these, these mini games are like, no, you just, you die in all of them. Like, you're gonna die. <laughs> That's right. You're just, you know, doing your little part. And, oh, I think maybe one or two more. You've got five left. Come on. Nice. One more, I think. Ugh. Oh, two left. Oh, no. Did you do it? Yeah. You did it. Woo! And of course, there's things in the way, right? Oh no, you only have six to go. I don't think you can win this one. Because you get bonus ones. But you use almost, you used all of them up last to. Uh, oh, doing awesome. But you got your technique going now. Oh yeah. Sort of. All you need is a couple ah! of goes and you can, you can crush it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, no, I don't have Two any more. more. Oh, no, I got. Oh. Zero. Nope, dead. I love how it just lets you play. When you have none left, <laughs> you just crash. Oh, there, it starts off. Okay. Oh, no. It's your last helicopter. It only gave you five to begin with. Oh. Oh, got limited it. Limited resources in time. So, uh, <laughs> Very limited disaster. resources. Yep. Yeah. Well, this one's actually easier than the first level. Oh. Is that? Yeah, the thing's not as high on the yeah, side. Yeah, but I'm just... <laughs> I feel like a helicopter in reality there can be a very sketchy. But I don't know if a plane would be any better. Uh, no, not really. I think a helicopter is better in this case if you're, like, dropping something directly. It's, it would, a, would be more precise. It would be more precise. But, I don't know, in this case, the helicopter can't be right over it. So you do have to do this weird maneuver. Because ah! with a plane, you have to time it. Because you're going on a straight flyover. But I've, I've seen some of those water bombers. And it's just insane how accurate those they are with the timing of dropping the water or whatever um, they're dropping on like forest fires. And they just lay it on perfectly. Of course, that's their job. I mean, they, they know how, how high they are from the floor, forest floor. 
and how long it takes with um, air resistance for the water to fall. So they like, yep, we know, press button here, yep, we're X meters away. Oh, threw it right off the screen. It's actually... Doing better now. Well, sort of. <laughs> well, because you, you know from the beginning what to do now. Sort of. <laughs> Man, it gets harder when it gets closer to the ground. Oh, yeah, it would. Oh, boy. Uh, they use choppers to drop fire retardant. James, you beat me to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did it. So you're doing a little... Oh, this is easier. I just... It, I only brought it up because helicopters seem so vulnerable. But I mean, oh, I guess... Yeah. The second and the I just know that, like, um, at least you have, like, some physics on your side when you're because you have a wingspan, so even if you run out of fuel on a plane, you can just glide like a helicopter. Yep. You're just going straight down. There yep. is nothing. You jump out with parachutes. That helicopter is not landing nicely. But with a plane, there is yeah, gliding to an extent. Um, make sure it's... less precision because of that. Yeah. You just have to make sure there's an open, flat area that you're gliding down to. And that... Yeah. Otherwise... If you hit something or bump or yeah, it's bad bad news. But yeah, I'd rather I'd rather glide into like a <laughs> like a like a forest than just drop. <laughs> and especially on a helicopter, even if you do have a parachute, like are the blades still rotating? Which way is up? It's like tumbling because of the blades are also moving the helicopter possibly if the the back rotor goes out, like it's one of the highest madness. risk vehicles to fly, is my understanding. Yes, uh, yeah, much, much worse than, that. much, much worse than planes. But they can take and take off and land vertically. Um, to have and a instantly, so easily. To have a plane that takes off and lands vertically uses up a massive amount of fuel. Like it's and much, much working, harder. You're not working with the physics of that plane. <laughs> not at all. No, it's big, big, big waste. <laughs> yeah. I'm too terrible this round. Oh, I Oh. oh, hard, hard. Uh, there's hard. something about the uh, angle here that's definitely a bit more challenging. Oh, man. Not uh, a chance. And there we go. <laughs> dead? Okay. I'm dead. We'll move on to the next game, which is Suicide Squad, which seems like all of these games should be named that. Suicide Any uh, connection to the Margot Robbie movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but <laughs> might have influenced the naming of it. Um, okay. Uh, you you control three brave plungers. Okay. Uh, unusual random room generator! Exclamation mm. mark. That's a sentence. Uh, find the gear, rotate it, and leave the room. Okay. Beware of the nuclear particle. <laughs> Calculate with the flashlight's battery. Um, and the little well, rotating thing is like a. They yeah. are. They're just nightmare scenarios. Each one of them. Good luck dosing this plane. <laughs> yes. What is happening? Nothing. Press the button for your I flashlight. Am. No. Which one? B. It's B, right? Well, there it is. There's something. Uh, yeah, but. Oh. oh, there you go. Where's it? Are you? What am I you... doing? Where do I... How do I move? Go up. Oh, whatever you just did, do it more. I can't move. This is a very terrible flashlight you have got going. I need some Duracells. Yeah, it's, it's cutting in and out like a horror film. Can you not jump up on that? No, thing? not easily. No. Oh, maybe. 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 Hey. Yeah. It's like, because it looks like that he's was swimming. Not me. That was the chat. Oh, because it looks like it's he's swimming. But then how? Technically, a helicopter will also glide to the ground. The rotor spins in reverse and gives some lift. Oh, interesting. I don't get yeah, this I, at all. I think the thing is, is a plane oh, dead. does have that. It's actually being held together by the wingspan, so it, you know, it can do it a little bit, but. <laughs> yeah. Like you're going into the darkness. Calculate with the flashlight's battery. called auto rotation tap it multiple times yeah but i don't get a flashlight so i don't really understand 
Like, I'm in a room with a maze that I don't even know what the maze looks like. Try up flat. There, there, there. I saw it for a second. Yeah, but... There, how did that work? I don't know. There you go. Oh, now you... No, you were on the platform. Get but back up. what am I up. supposed to do? Get back up to the platform. What am I supposed to do on the no, platform? Stay, stay there. Now, there you go. There you go. You're doing it. And now it's open. Go to the right. Yay! You did the thing! But, but... Like, how do Where? I get the flashlight on? I don't know. Oh! Oh! Is it down? For the flashlight? Yeah. There you go. Oh! I think the particle got me. <laughs> it definitely did. Wow. And... This is a nightmare. Wow. Like, your flashlight's cutting in and out. There's little particles coming to kill you. Press down. No. no. Up, down, left, right, button up, button down. There you go. Yeah. How did you do that? No idea still. I just, uh, I just read this article the train sent me. It's very fun. The Gimli Glider, of all things, was a uh, successful landing for a plane that ran out of fuel, like, way up in the air. Oh, wow. I, I have to drill this hand in the beginning. This is the last one, but I just wanted to point that I read your article. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Ah, uh, did something get me? What's going on? Ah! You're, you're just stuck. Run away. So you're actually doing fine now. Oh. Just I... have to figure out how you turned your flashlight on. And I on. think it's backwards. No. <laughs> you don't know how you turn your flashlight on? <laughs> oh. Maybe it turns on after a little bit? Maybe. And you're just That's waiting gotta it be out? it. You're just waiting for it to turn on, but I feel like there's something... Come on. There we go. Cool concept, but it's just it's acting kind really of weird. crazy, which is kind of fun and stressful at the same time. <laughs> something like being in a room with your flashlight off and random... <laughs> Deadly particles floating around. Yeah. I think at best that's all Chernobyl can be fun and stressful. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah. Oh, it turned off. I don't again. know how it turned off. Why did it turn off? <laughs> oh. Oh no. I think you made it over. No, but I think I'm getting attacked by a particle. Oh, you are. Oh. oh. <laughs> I, I want to see that death animation. <gasps> I don't know. Okay. Let's... There's something happening. Yeah. <laughs> No batteries. Oh. Suicide Squad, ready yeah. to go. I guess that's why they call it. Was the suicide yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. How more like the morale of the third person must be devastating. It's like okay, so the other two people have died. Good luck. Here's your flashlight. Yeah. How did you spin it? How oh, did? Up. How does he? Yeah. You up just go spin. up. Up his spin. Yeah. See, how, how, are you getting, how are you getting the, the flashlight on? No idea yet. It I'm just, just like mashing on. buttons until until it turns on. I'm going to uh, not press said, anything. I think the flashlight turns on when you start moving sideways. I oh, that, but I, I was moving, but maybe not enough. Like, maybe you have to... I'm moving sideways, yeah. left, right. I'm not pressing the button. I'm not going to press the button. Oh. A back seems to Down. Do. Down? Down is on and off. Yeah, but I was... That's it. But Down I was hitting... It. Maybe off. I was holding it. Maybe that was the problem. It uh, wasn't actually turning on. Oh, nightmare. Oh, now I'm stuck. And now you're stuck. Gotta get oh, out of this. No. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. This one's, like, in a bad spot. And my flashlight's almost out. Oh, it gains power? No. Yeah, it's gaining yeah, power. Yeah, once, once it goes out, it'll start recharging. On what? Who knows? Maybe the radiation in the room? <laughs> oh, I made it out. So you do have to wait a bit till it... That must be it. It's just like there's... Like something's happening. Something's there happening. We go. Ooh, this is not a very good flashlight. There we go. So what you should do is like turn it on for a second. And then turn it off when you get there. <laughs> okay. Getting it now. Oh, now the particle's getting you. Or it's close. No, ah, it killed ah. you. See, that's why you need it on for a little bit longer. I think it longer. flashes red when As it's it, near when it's, you. When it's, it's near about you. about to get you. Yeah. yeah. Now, this, is, this is actually a really good, really good um, minigame. It is, a little, but... It I'm, should start I'm, right away. The like, flashlight is weird. I, I don't know. But but there's something about that that um, 
It kind of works, actually. It's like a horror game. Jesus. It shouldn't be too predictable. Yeah. No. No. I think there's a, a part in the beginning where something's happening. Like, you can't do anything. The, the level hasn't started yet. Maybe. Because I'm pressing down and like, nothing's nothing. happening. Nothing. Well, that's what, what I was getting frustrated with. It's like, I and don't that flipping down. seems like not not like there we go. Yeah, when it flashes red, when it's getting close to you. Ah, I turn it off. I can turn that back. And I'll turn it back on. Float over there. Turn it off. Very cool mechanics. I like it a lot. Just well, now we figured the flashlight. And that, that makes see it the easier. flipping. It's the same every time. Yeah. And then the ge the level starts. Mm. Oh, how do I? I can't get there. Can you go down? Ah. I can't duck. Oh, it it moved. Did how it? did it move? That's weird. Oh, I'm just kind of close to it. Weird. It's like not behaving properly. Yeah. And also, in the top part, your flashlight only shows a tiny bit. Yeah. So you need to get down to the bottom part before it shows the whole the bottom. The whole room, yeah. It's definitely a weird game. Oh. He's getting you. No! What is it? Dematerialized? Dematerialized, yeah. That's actually really, really good. It just needs some tweaks <laughs> to it. Or not. Or, or not. not. <laughs> Definitely better instructions. Like, press down to turn on your flashlight in the instructions would be very good. Yeah. Because... You have to convince Will Smith to join your team. Yeah. That's right. Because <laughs> all it says about the, pla the flashlight is calculate with the flashlight's battery. I mean, I'm guessing, like, calculate your time that you have. Now we're going to play the last one of this, which is actually the first one, um, called AZ5. And there are overlays for this one. Okay. So you can start it so we can get rid of the music. There we go. Okay. So there are five controls on the panel for switching. The instructions are, you gain control of the reactor. You have to do the test Dyatlov failed or just caused the meltdown. Use the overlay you got for the game. Black and white turns the reactor on and off. Left difficulty, water flowing optimization on and off. Right difficulty controls the direction of rod movement. Select moves one rod up or down. Reset forces a sh shut downs the reactor. Force shut down of the reactor. Okay. That doesn't really tell us how to play the game. It tells us the kind of the controls. So I'm gonna have to be really near. Yeah, you'll have the to. Uh... So you won't be able to see me. <laughs> so you can see I'm doing black and white. Turns on and off the power thing. Yeah. Uh, that one turns the reactor on and off. Doesn't seem to be affecting anything on the screen. Uh, black left difficulty, water flow optimizing on and off. Doesn't change anything on the screen. Drop the rods. Right difficulty controls the directions of the rod movement. So you can see it goes up, down. That's cool. Uh, select moves one rod up or down. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't seem to do much. Doesn't do anything. Okay. Oh. 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 You, you moved the rods down, or you? I started the game. Oh no, oh. I didn't. I started the death. <laughs> yeah, the reset forces a shutdown of the reactor. Okay. Is that like giving up? It's yeah, like you're, I... you're supposed to figure out... 
Is it like figuring out the code to uh, prevent the meltdown? Yes. So can you do anything on the? No, I, I don't or is think it so. All on the... It's all on the. Con uh, it's all on the uh, switches. Oh, one of them disappeared. Oh, there we go. Two of them went up. Isn't removing them all Bad. going to cause the meltdown? Just. Yeah, wouldn't it? Okay, that's down. Up, up. Or no. No, they're, they're the uranium rods. Up, up. There we go. So by removing, I don't know. It's been a long time. I'm gonna find some boron. A boron, yeah. <laughs> Throw some boron in there. <laughs> Where's that helicopter when we need it? When it does, just throw some boron in. That's my new motto for the uh, irradiated wastelands. Yeah. Sprinkle the boron. <laughs> Reactor on and off. Yeah, I don't know what the objective is of this section. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see if I can find his Because the rods are usually their uranium or whatever. So now I know how to control it a bit. Then that's in the chamber, and then that heats the water to steam because of, because of the fission reaction. So usually if you want to stop the meltdown, you remove the rods. Yes. And that's what we... And that was... Yeah. And... You remove the rods to yes. stop the... Yes. Okay. Yeah. No. And if you guys are into this, you got to check out that, that Netflix show, because it goes into <laughs> all the details. It's really wild. It's been a while. <laughs> um, okay. I remember learning in elementary school about nuclear reactors. Like, I'm making lots of points. Look at all of my score. Is awesome. that your score? Is that a good thing? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because when I... It's a lot of radiation. When I trigger... A lot of radiation. I mean, the little things in the middle are cool. Those little bits that are going up. <laughs> um, but... And this is where your Atari explodes. <laughs> That's right. Uh-oh. Um, Uh-oh. Put the, put the rods down. Put the rods down. Okay, I'll put the rods down. <laughs> down. Or no. I don't know. It's been a while. Oh, oh no! You knew, you knew Meltdown. Really more than I, do, Tanya. I don't know. I'm you trying know to remember. I remember. <laughs> I think it was like, um, what is it? Um, like Canadian propaganda because we were making can do nuclear reactors. And I remember in elementary school having like a lesson on how can do Canadian nuclear reactors work. <laughs> I remember that. Which is really weird. Oh, I don't remember that one. I remember learning that, and I, I yeah, anyway. But um, that was elementary school, that was a little while ago, so. <laughs> uh, I anything. Can do elementary nuclear. Schools, they already, they already <laughs> one thing. I assume. I Bubbles assume it was elementary school. Yeah, the thread doesn't really say how to. Uh, well, I think win I think to... I, I think that's the point is you're supposed to figure out what you're supposed to be doing, but yeah. I can't remember. I think the rods are the uranium rods, and the whole reason isn't that the whole reason why Chernobyl melted down was because the rods were from above. Sorry. And so when the uh, when the safety oh, yeah. system failed, the rods fell into the nuclear reactor, oh. and they couldn't pull them back out to stop the reaction. Whereas new ones, I think they slide through sideways or there's a fail safe oh. so they fall out of the nuclear reactor i could be completely wrong <laughs> this is this is going off memory but anyway canadian propaganda <laughs> <laughs> so here's beam rider this is our last game of the night and this is the one we're trying to get oh, a yeah. high score on this is fun What's the score you're going for, James? It is, I believe, 40,000 oh, yeah, and was... level 14. How far did we get last time? I got 10,000. Yeah, you got further than I did. I think 10,000 and level 8? Yeah. 7? 8? Around there. Yeah. Um. So I was on my way, but not close enough. And Darcy played this with us last yeah, time. Yeah, this is the one we played over the internet. Yeah. Yeah. So this is by David Rolfe. This is uh, Activision from 1983. This is not a homebrew. Duncan was saying the control rods are usually the boron. So the boron oh. stops the reaction. So that would make sense. I knew it was one or the other. Stops the reaction. Yeah. You let it out and it you, reactions. Or, or, no, you, they fall in and that slows the... the it it um, prevents the, the nuclear fission. Okay. Um, 
Okay, that makes sense. I couldn't remember which which way it was, whether the uranium was the rods or the boron was um, the safety rods. That would make sense. Anyway, I digress. I have to go look it up now after the stream. <laughs> Putting out wrong information. Now, Thunkus just said that the Chernobyl rods had graphite tips, which unfortunately accelerated the reaction. Oh, uh, okay. I remember it being something about the positioning of the rods, too. Um, that they didn't fall in or something like that. Like, they, if, if the system had been built a slightly different way, then, uh... Oh! Oh! oh it's what the, dying already. What the show does a really good job of, too, is, is also talking about the politics of what was going on, too. Mm. I mean, and that's really, that was the stuff that really interested me. Yeah. Just, that would, you know. that would be interesting. Already forgotten. Ah! Forgotten how to play? Yeah. <laughs> no, I remember up. now. Press up. Yeah, I missed it. So, Lila Pajenkin Powen. That's a hard, one of the hardest names on the show. Uh, he said, I'm watching it now and you're playing my favorite 2600 game, Beam Rider. I never had the manual, but I did get to sector 99 with 999 points. 999,999 points on advanced settings. <sighs> I used to kill all the enemies so fast I had to leave the last one so my extra life would spawn. This game is pretty straightforward, except I so never... He's not very good at this game. He's just the worst. He Terrible. actually holds the world record on Twin Galaxies. <gasps> really? Okay, yeah. that's impressive. <laughs> For PAL, because he's uh, he plays, plays the PAL version. Um, uh, I never understood what those things that fly across the screen was or does. I did notice there's three per sector if you wait long enough. I feel if I shot all three, I would increase the score. I got her extra life after killing the big ship, but I might have imagined that. Um, and I told them that in the manual, they don't do anything except give you score. Um, uh, I said the manual defines yellow things that fly across the screen as chirpers. They don't specify that they add anything to the bonus at the end, which is the big ship. Only a bonus for how many, only a bonus for how many lives you have remaining when the big ship is destroyed. Uh, I said, okay, the bonus points you get for your lives does increase throughout the game, though. Maybe that's just for every sector. Did it mention that? Um, it gets very rewarding when you start getting up there, and the amount per life, uh, amount per each life is over it's a terrible. thousand points. <laughs> So the strategy I used was to not bother killing the big ship in the beginning. Use the three missiles that can destroy anything in critical situations just to keep your lives. It will pay off. And never chase the chirpers. It will make you lose focus on everything that's going on. But if you can get it from your position, that's good. Biggest thing that helps, catch every extra life. Don't shoot them. Yes, definitely. Especially on the earlier levels. Oh, you got cornered. I was cornered, yeah. No, that I was didn't terrible. notice it last time, but those dots flash. Those little dots that are on the screen. for me because that was a terrible run. Okay. <laughs> like, watch the little dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like flashing. Yeah. I think they're... Oh, they're flashing as the lines go through them. Wow, that's really it, it awesome. It has a really neat effect. Wow. That's super smart programming. Makes it almost look like a plane runway. Mm -hmm. Like, like the, the the lights that guide you guide the planes in on the runway. Did you shoot your extra yeah, life? Yeah, really. It was really far away though. <laughs> you have your finger up in the air. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh, landing planes and signing in. I just didn't want to interrupt the uh, the patch and uh, the attack. Just, just yeah. to let know uh, I got a sign out, you guys. Early night for me. Just wanted to check in and say hi about landing planes with no fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, D Train, for uh, yeah. joining us tonight. So my um, my first big COVID threshold was your guys' party. Uh, oh. It was really early on, the, um, uh, the, the, the Darren Aronofsky night, and I just had this moment, because I'm with the public, like, I'm so exposed. Yeah. I, I had this moment where I was like, would I trust me? And the answer <laughs> was no. And I was like, okay, I gotta not, I gotta not be the person, because I, I imagine two universes. One universe where I show up, <laughs> and I get both of you sick, oh. and then never How dare you? into anything ever again. 
Aww. How dare you alternate uni universe, Erlen? <laughs> so I made the responsible choice. I had to do it. I had to. Now it's I just good. Was, I just thought, oh man, if I'm the one who gives both Tanya and James. Oh, so, unforgivable. It would be, man. It would be terrible. Yeah, that was that was our last uh, social thing as yeah. well. Like that's that's the last time we uh, did anything other than with like just staying at home. Like we yeah, we've I, gone for walks around the neighborhood, but not like encountering people. Like no. we're staying away from them. Yeah, and there's a there's currently a thousand dollar fine um, if you're if you're in the streets doing recreational stuff because right now which this makes sense. Been so bad. <laughs> On the news. Used used as an example for Canada of what not to do. Yeah. Showing people yes. on the beach. They called it the Florida of Canada, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> I, I always call it the Amsterdam of North America. Uh, that's, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, yep. yeah, yep. that's pretty good. That works. Um, so you've been holed up. Yeah. As well, you haven't seen anybody yeah. since that day in uh, person. Pretty much. I, uh, I had a, I canceled a lot of stuff. A lot of people were like. No problem, and I was one of their earliest ones. But also, you emphasized to me the importance of it. We went on this because really the last thing I did was we went on this drive to do a bit of work, and on that drive, people were like, Look, Erlen, what's <laughs> going on? And you were the first person to really just kind of let me know. And I was like, I trust James as a source, I don't trust a lot of people as a source. But I was like, If James is saying stay in, I better stay in. Yeah, yeah, that's that's just before that day was kind of when I kind of got a little serious and I I mean we already were planned to do that day and go out and do some work that day we were very careful we didn't shake anybody's hand on that day we didn't and touch I, like an shaking anyone's hand. I really felt like a like, it a, like not a good person but then it was early was yeah I know it was it was somewhat early in the um conscious of the collective conscious of people of what we should be doing to to be careful oh, shoot. um so th they they understood there uh, they were kind of joking a bit about it and yeah they teased us a little bit like oh you paranoid <laughs> yeah like well I'm paranoid and an asshole yeah <laughs> yeah for that. yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was it was very strange not like going against social conventions of shaking hands and um, but when you actually think about it, shaking hands is a really, it's a weird thing. Um, but it's, it's born out of, um, showing trust that you don't have, yeah. you don't have a weapon in your hand. You're not hiding anything. I mean, that's probably yeah, that's... A, a stupid thing that's made up about not showing a weapon by, by sh handshaking. I feel like that's something you got from Sean. <laughs> probably. Yeah. But it just sounds made up. It sounds like maybe it could be something. It's like, yeah. I'm shaking your hand. But what about your other hand? You have to show both hands when you shake hands. You could have that one behind your back with a dagger. <laughs> and, your le and your left hand dominated. Like, who knows? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we are going to start bowing. That's, that's, yeah. That's... I would love that. Or prayer hands. Someone uh, was saying, well. I know this all the time. Yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Creating. It's not a terrible thing to do. I, I'd be fine with both. I'd be very, very happy if we never shook hands again. <laughs> it, it would be so nice. That's the quote of <laughs> it's just, it's, it's just kind of gross. Even, even at the best of times. Like, where have you been? Did you just go to the bathroom and not wash your hands after coming out? You know like, what? The one thing I'm super conscious of now is when I go into work because I still have to go into work. Is uh, how many freaking doorknobs? I have to oh, yeah. I have to open and like a brand new facility there's all the a lot of push buttons for for right. um, people getting in and out with them um, like physical Security. disabilities oh but yeah to open doors still like I, uh, there's four doorknobs I have to turn to get into my office and yeah. and I've never been so conscious of physically touching doors um, yeah in my life now it's just you're constantly thinking about where are my hands what am I touching and like oh it's uh, crazy. Hour, um, you guys know this, but there's a 24 hour grocery store right by my house. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, we go there too. Um, what I've been doing to sort of dodge it is I've been going late at night because there's less people. Yes. But I tell you, it's, I might need to stop because the squirrelier and squirrelier people are in there. Because <laughs> <laughs> being out on the street at like 2 a.m. is really weird right now. It's so weird. Are they, still, are they still open that late? Because I heard someone.
someone say that they were closing at 8? Oh, they've been open then. I mean, unless this is like yesterday. It, oh. it was yesterday we were there, but but I don't know. Yeah, I just heard it out of the corner, you know, like I heard it from the back of my head. And they should do it because there's a bunch of weird people wandering around. It's very interesting. <laughs> More well, than normal? <laughs> I was chatting briefly with the, um, the girl who was working at the till. And she seemed really stressed, like oh, just I being bet. there and like interacting with people. And I said, "Oh, how's it going?" She's like, "Well, people are finally getting the message to like stand back." And but she looked really stressed about it. And I was like, "Oh, uh, you shouldn't be open twenty four hours, <laughs> you know? Like if at least you have a bit more control if it's a limited time period." But that's, that's what I've been doing too. Like any chance I get to just ask someone how they're doing. Oh. The industry, I've been doing oh it. yeah. And man, has there been like a really interesting monologues? <laughs> oh yeah. Like, cause I no bet. No one wants to touch each other. No one wants to. It's yeah. such an interesting time. So I've just been yeah. trying to like reach out to anybody that yeah. I see that's like in those positions because they seem like uh, they're the ones on the front lines and just trying to send like good energy to them. Hey, how are you doing? Like I, I actually care. My cleaning staff at work. I smile at as much as I can, and I ask them how they're doing. Oh yeah, because like the worst that's a job. stressful. That's a stressful job to be in too. So. Oh. Um, yeah, they touch everything. They, everything. They have to touch everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, it's, um, and I and it's been. It just feels like I've never felt such a like turn of um, collective attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors. Yeah. Oh, it's this. huge change. Just, yeah. It's for the better. I hope that James, James I, is like less social interaction. <laughs> I, I think this will modernize our workplaces. Um, people will get used to telecommuting, and they'll be less wow. having to go to to meet people. What I find interesting is at the end of all this, and yes, I'm already thinking about that, even though that might be weeks and months away, is whether like workplaces and the how we deal with things and how the economy settles out after that and whether things change substantially. Um, I already heard a rumor that um, possibly like my the gym I go to has laid off all its staff but the rumor is is that they're going to file for bankruptcy. Oh, jeez, yeah. I think there's a lot of local businesses that that's just a reality. Well, yep. and they were on they're the gonna, brink. So yeah, this is this is just pushing them over the edge. Every business that's close is just going to be like, yeah, we're done. So, yeah, it's 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 kind of terrifying. Is the, is the biggest hit, I think. That's that's the only thing that's sad to me. Is, yeah. Is performing arts. Oh, yeah. Oh god, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I think it might have the opposite effect that all these artists hold up are gonna have all these ideas coming out of well, this 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 stasis. The best art comes from suffering, I, well, I believe. There is truth in that, but also they have to survive the process. So artists always have to survive, yeah. like in hardship. They they don't make a lot of money sometimes. Yeah, but this is even worse. I mean, it is. I mean, it's extreme. It's kind of um, it's kind of like inspiring. Life can just turn on a dime, so it makes you really just appreciate the little moments that you had. I, I wish yeah. I could kind of like go back a year and just kind of like tell myself, Damn. like, hey, really enjoy these moments yeah. you're having because this might not always happen. And I think that's a good reminder always in life. Because that's true with anything, it's just to really try to enjoy the moments you're in because you don't know that things change, change fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I miss hugging people. Yes! <laughs> I said that last stream. Everyone I want to see, I want to hug now. And I was never that much of a hugger, but I'm just like, oh. You can hug your I can't. Cat. I can't. It's hug that, being denied. Hug that you know. strange cat that comes around. Oh, he's going to cry. Oh. He's been around so much. And oh. I, he's actually been extra affectionate because I think people are not. People uh. are turning him away. Oh, oh. that's... So I see him every day now. Oh, he's that's like, good. That's like awesome. He's climbing on things he never used to climb on. <laughs> he's like rubbing up against everything. Oh, I wow. I saw a mouse the other day, finally, and I saw predator mode. It was like he was laying on the, on the ground all of a sudden. It was like, the, you know, the, like the inside. The eyes the get game bugged game. out and, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's exciting times. Well, it's good he's coming around more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Support, support. I oh, didn't do that. Oh, I pressed up. Support your up. local stray. Pressed up accidentally. 
Um, so what is the patch goal? It's fifth, it's 40,000, 40. yep. which I think is going to be a tough, a tough, uh, it's, it's getting used to the, <sighs> it's not doing stupid things like that and Look getting used dude. to the higher levels. Oh, no, too much. Because the higher levels get really crazy with the things that are on the screen, especially that thing that traverses the screen constantly that you have to stay out of the way of. Yeah. Because then everyone's at home. You're like, you phone someone. It's like, it's, chances are yeah. they're going to be there. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That is very funny. It's like. And, um, um, and, and Path of Exile. Path of Exile is a new league on March 13th. Yeah. And immerse yourself in something too yeah. Yeah. and um yeah all those games people have been putting off oh come on oh terrible <laughs> yeah um streaming and i think the largest number of people on steam uh, was recorded the other day mm. I mean, actually, it got the most people on stream ever, and then on Steam ever, and then it broke its own record. It ah. broke its own record, yeah. Immediately. I tried to log in, and I was like, I'm going to play this fun little game I have, and uh, trouble I couldn't in. even log in. I was like, oh, screw this. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> it's why it's almost dangerous to go home, because everything's on servers these days. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to just be able to download something again, because, yeah. you know, what, any server I've been on, so many people on at once uh, i missed some is there a patch goal going on on beam rider yes. yes there is if you see me playing an old game it's a patch <laughs> challenge um i just got just under ten thousand. we need to get forty thousand. <laughs> Um, and level 14. So this is has two goals. And usually they, they go hand in hand. Anyway. Get, get your ship! Get your ship! Oh! oh missed. I was not paying attention. Anyway, we played this one with um, Darcy, Darcy. Yeah. last stream. Which worked really well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it totally fine. Yeah. Javatari we, we used on the internet. Um, it's a web page that you can set up a server. And play Atari games. It's it's incredible. So if anybody wants to play Atari games over the internet with their friends, um, it's very simple to set up. No! <laughs> what the hell? And now the rage quitting starts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or the rage resetting. Rage, rage resetting. resetting. I'm not quitting. <laughs> That's what trying to go for a patch does. Yeah. <sighs> yep. I, I was doing really well last uh, game, last getting, well, or the game, last yeah. game at the beginning, I was getting every single extra life. I'm, I just, like, forgot. Oh, you bastard. Tried to, tried to block my life. My God. <laughs> this is, I, I searched for this game. I don't have it on cartridge. Um... Because I definitely would have played the hell out of this um, before. If if I had this on cartridge before, mm. I never even knew about this game. But, I mean, it's an Activision game. You really should just buy almost every single Activision game. Because they're all amazing. This is no slouch. What is that? Oh, it's, it just fell. Tanya? Mm -hmm. What just fell? Nothing, just my foot. Oh, <laughs> thought it was. Sorry. 
Um, right up there with Spider Fighter. Yeah. I mean, um, I would say this is even more complex than Spider Fighter. It's a lot more as the levels go up. Like, Spider Fighter seems to cap out at banana level, and then it just stays hard. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the visuals of the game. I don't know if it's because you're doing what composite out now. Yeah. Um, but it feels super retro to me, <laughs> this game. Well, it's probably the composite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just it's the It's the lininess and, and the, the something about the play field that has a bizarre kind of Atari, uh, not Atari, I was going to say almost Star Wars, <laughs> like shooting yeah. in space game. I don't know. And this one's like 3D. Vector almost. Vector based. Mm, yeah. Almost has that feel. This would be a very good vector game. It would do really well as a vector game because of the scaling that yeah. you need to do. Like you could do proper scaling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's almost like it's trying to emulate that vector based kind of gameplay. Yep. Yep. Oh god. Oh, I almost died. Where's my extra life on this level? There, uh, it is. there he comes. Don't mess with it. There we go. Come over here. Oh, oh good job. <sighs> you got lots of lives, so that should have. Bonus! Yeah! Woo! So funny from my end watching. <laughs> live, and it's so great. <laughs> You're getting a the double. five second delay. <laughs> What's the chat saying? You gotta keep up with it. Oh. Well. Yeah, but I don't know if, if anyone else is. You're not seeing that, are you? Oh, I can't. He can't to listen to it. Oh, that's true. You're listening. I mean, it's the audio, and the, you wouldn't be listening to it anyway. No. So that's so right. No idea. Yeah. Come on, where's my? No! I Accidentally pressed that. What does the chat say? Not keep much. Up with it. I keep telling you, not much. <laughs> what does that last thing say? James yeah. something something. James well, they, reacted before well, I saw him screw up in game. Oh. Oh. That there might be a bit of a delay. Um, yeah. Based on this. Oh, yeah. okay. There is a delay. I don't think I've noticed it before. Was it always that way? I wonder. Like a two-second lag live versus game footage. No. No. I've, I've had it pretty synced up because that's I've seen other streams with that delay and it's and it's really weird and annoying so the sound is off from the gameplay uh no no, no, no. cafe man we're TV. off oh, we're off, we're off. The yeah, the person oh. is out of sync with like the game that's being played oh um, and I've also noticed that um when you get deeper into the stream <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. As time goes on. No! Like oh, he blocked it. Plus, it seems to be, uh, especially on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's more of a YouTube thing, I think. Than Do I get my Twitch bonus? Thing. Don't even get my bonus. Um, that's a YouTube thing. That's not a... Um, it was the same thing. It's a Twitch. It's not a Twitch thing. It's a, it's a YouTube thing. Just because YouTube doesn't know how to handle 60 frames a second downscaling to 30... <laughs> Cafe Man 2D, it's your full name. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're a 2D kind of guy. <laughs> Not 3D, 2D. There's bullet, uh, yeah. bullet. Yeah, and you were cornered there. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I should be in the middle. Like that's one of the hints in the in the in the guide is stay in the middle. But I mean, well, if you're as not, as best you can. If you're not. Sometimes. It's a, a very like cyberpunk title, you know, Beam Rider. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, like it's like a lateral move away from Knight Rider. Yeah. Like, like in the beams, you're like it's like a, you're the you're the cousin of Tron. Yes. <laughs> riding beams. Riding the, beams into the night. <laughs> Oh, oh you ran right into zoomed down. I'm doing terrible. <laughs> terrible. This doesn't look easy, man. I can't even mm -mm. distinguish the differences between, like, your life and the things that you're already crushing. It's, it's a challenging game. It's really fun, though. Yeah, it's, it's so much going game. on. Get your life. I didn't oh. even see it. 
It's oh, hard because oh. you're so focused on shooting those little white ships. And now that they're stars, they look like stars, too. Because yeah. the stars are yellow. Last life. I like the animation of you just exploding in like this split red banana. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very strange death look well, the game. similar to Pac-Man, really. Pac-Man just kind of folds in half. It does, just dis disintegrates into... Yeah. Pac-Man is like chasing, running away from ghosts that it can then consume and popping pills. Yeah, but somehow in the 80s, that was the universal sign of death, was like splitting in half. Like just... Yeah. <laughs> Falling apart. Playing again? Yes. <laughs> then you can play. No, no, it's okay. You have a far better chance of beating it than I do, so... Uh, now, Tanya, this is the stage of the show. I always think of it as to let James try to... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a moment in the show that I always think of this. I'm like, okay, hey, I'm just going to let James... Um, because his skill is so much better in certain games. Well, This one I'm not doing great on. This, this shocking thing happened on the last stream. We went to do a patch, and James got it instantaneously. Yeah. And then I was trying to get the patch for an hour. And usually, usually I give up really early and then James plays for an hour. And yeah. it was the reverse of what usually happens. And she didn't want to give up. No, because I was like seconds, of, like less than, like milliseconds from getting this stupid gold cup. So anyway, and I didn't get it in the tire end. Tire tracks. Tire tracks. Oh, See, so good. Game for that, right? Oh, it's so good. It's that like you're so close. Yes. It's, and it's a short short game yeah you you finished the level in under a minute well and you can reset just by going off in the water so you're yeah. like and oh no reset reset <laughs> so you just keep going and then uh an hour went by so it's a good game and now pack rat G says that from my own experience with this game you need to control your moment more precisely controlled moves from beam to beam i find a good choice to mm -hmm. right I'm, I'm not having too much trouble with the gamepad it, I, I accidentally, like, I mean, I'm, I'm doing it on purpose, but I don't mean to press the button. The over twice sometimes I press it, mm. but it's not the gamepad's fault for sure. But yes, precise movements, because it's not. There's only five spots you can be in this game. That's it. You press one over, you're not at halfway in between. There's no halfways. Um, so precise movements are very necessary. It's like. Over two, over one, you press twice. Um, I guess it's like playing an instrument. You know, you want to use the minimal amount of movement possible so that you can like put more of your mind on anything else. Yes, exactly. But I think he's that that is a really good hint actually, is to be very precise with your movement. Um, especially in the this higher levels. Ah. Uh, it. Very, very close. And if, and if you're playing Battletoads, you just gotta get as many lives as possible on that level where the, everything's falling. You just gotta <laughs> kill those birds. Yes. That's, that's, that's what I've noticed whenever I've seen someone play Battletoads. Oh, yeah. It, it seems like you got one level to get all your health. <laughs> and then, yeah. And it's, you use it for you the You get three the restarts throughout the game. So you can restart on the level you're at, but then once those three restarts are, are over, that's it. Like... That's why it's such a hard game. <laughs> you gotta crush Battletoad sometime on, on the screen. <laughs> NES, blasphemy. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't not... crush Battletoads anymore, and like, <laughs> so, and a lot of that game is memorization. Well, it's that's like. The thing is, I, my friend tried to get me to play that game once, and I just could, literally could not get past the first level. Oh. So just like, with like a friggin' beer in one hand. Just, like, <laughs> I can get past, I, I, the furthest I've gotten is to the second speeder mode, and the first speeder, speeder level was level three, which is where most people rage quit, <laughs> yes. and I played it ridiculous. so much with my sister, um, that I eventually memorized it, and to the point where when we were playing it at the retro game night, I was like, oh, you know, give me give me 20 minutes, I can get past this. Because I can remember the movements, but I just need a little bit more of that muscle memory to come back. But um, I still remember to this day, like, getting through, and then there's a snake level, and it's all memorization of, like, jumping and flipping over snakes. 
and and you can get through that and then the ice level is pretty easy but the moment I hit another racer level I'm like done I'm <laughs> I'm not doing that again because yeah, I'm not I there's no like way top 10 hardest levels of all time I always see that speeder level yeah <laughs> I don't know if it's the first or the second, but the second one, I'm like, no, no, I, I, I must have been like 12, and that was it. Anyway, you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Until those jumping guys show up again. Oh, the jumping guys on this. <laughs> so. But yeah, that's a game that you need legit skill. To play. Oh yeah, that is hard. And, and I, that's the only thing I've noticed from people that do it is that it's like that weird falling level, and you can hit these numbers oh. and get a bunch of health. Yes. Yeah. It's the that's that's level two. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. That sets the whole pace. Yeah. Yeah. You can you can increase you can increase your lives. Um, also, things try to steal your lives at certain points. You have to make sure they do don't they? do that. Oh my and then God. you're pretty much on your own from there on out. Like you just have so to get as far as you can. Runs of that game. I always enjoy that because oh. I'm always not a lot of games that you watch a speed run and you're like, ah, you know, less. But I'm like, everything you're doing here, I couldn't do. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we were watching. Um, what was it? Mike Mondays? Mike. James and Mike Mondays. James and Mike Mondays. Uh, and they did, they did oh. run it through right to the end. And there's one where you're, like, one right at the end, you're falling through a maze and something's chasing the you. The rat's chasing Or you have to beat the rat down. I don't think I ever made it to that level. That looks like a nightmare. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you have to be super, super You fast. have to be precise the yeah. whole way down. Yeah. So... Someday. <laughs> <laughs> Someday. Probably not. A lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work. Yeah, that used to be the thing with uh, retro games. And, you know, you couldn't design long games, so you would just make games that you have to replay a bunch because they take good skill to beat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what's... Yeah, it's... Because um... you can't make them repetitive like you used to, like this. Like this. these types of games, like arcade games, um, early arcade games. Yeah because nobody would put up with that anymore. Well, now it's more about so competition, I think. I think a lot of modern games, it's in the competition and, yeah, and one competing on one. against people. Um, you don't have those games that are just impossible. Um, I think most people, when they're playing games now, want to succeed at them. So they try to ramp up yeah. the difficulty, but so that you can ramp up with it and, and you know level up and get more weapons. And very close. It's a very different attitude towards yeah. game making I different think and, and people's games, expectations you know. of, the, of the games they play uh, it's I like what you guys were saying earlier too because you can update them as they go I think the developers can actually get pretty lazy where they'll sometimes just give you a game that's not complete that's, and that's why I don't buy pre-release or order anything no because it's, I'm like I don't want to I don't want to jump on board with I want to see if this game is actually done yeah for like 80 bucks. Well, and and you know the game of the year edition will come out anyway with all the DLC. <laughs> on so, disc. <laughs> on disc. DLC is the game. Yeah. Well, sometimes sometimes the DLC is better than the original game. Yeah. That I think. Stupid thing that jumps around. I think uh, that's always been our attitude: is wait for the DLC to come oh, out. Oh, we have <laughs> and the plenty cheaper. of games to play in the meantime. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's I'm always a couple years out almost. I only play like games that are like a bit older. It's like the yeah. release of the game. It's not really released. And and because we don't play um, online, um, there's no need to be there for re the release. God damn it. For day one mm -hmm. and and maximize the opponents that we have to play against. It's like, no, I just I play single player games. <laughs> we hear damn it and wait to see how James does. Oh no, is it that <laughs> off? Oh no! Uh, I gotta figure all this out by by the I next episode. Not no, no, nothing at all. It's just things are out of a little bit out of sync, so and it's making me upset. <laughs> so you can't you can't hit anything in green. Is that basically the <laughs> well, oh oh the the, green. the what are you called? Missiles can kill those things, though. Your, your yeah. movements seem more precise, James. I feel like that's, that suggestion probably helped. That it did. Wrong, it's just my observation. No, it did help a lot. It just made me conscious of it, of of what 
of the way I move, because this game is a, a very different style of movement than other games. It's 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 moving between five spots. And and Wow, they shoot two missiles now each. Oh god. I don't even notice that. Yeah. Oh, I feel oh. like we're back in Chernobyl. <laughs> <laughs> it pretty much a lot of flashing going on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some boron. Throw some boron on the screen. That'll help it. I'm doing better. No! Ugh. As I shoot my own ship. It's like Galaga. Mm. It's like oh, I shot no. myself. It's Not many say, games where you can shot shoot your yourself. Yeah. That's right. Not many games where you can shoot yourself in. Come on. Nice. Fifteen thousand. <sighs> New, new record. Yep. It gives me hope. Every thousand I get closer. What is that? Something that kills you. <laughs> <laughs> I just shoot it away and it just went away. Uh, okay. Well, that's a new one because I'm on sector 10. Sector 10. This is crazy. Yeah. You can use your missiles though. I mean, that was yeah, one of but that was one of the um Suggestions. Yeah. Suggestions was when you're in a bind, use your okay, missile. Oh, he stays there. Oh, uh, God. Do I have to shoot him away? Well, I, I don't know now. Uh, 15,000. All right. You play and then I'll play one more. All right. Do you have to reset? Yeah. Hmm. I love that Activision rainbow. Oh, it's beautiful. It's very smart. I love that they... They dedicate one line it up on to the it. Screen. Oh, this seems like nothing compared to the last rounds you were playing. Well, that's that's what's good about it. It's when you start over, you can use the skills that you've acquired in the higher levels, in the lower levels, and apply them more effectively. And like clear out the first level like really quick. Get all your bonus lives. Yeah, and also what you're doing is so ambitious to like do it on a stream and all this stuff. It's so amazing you're able to get them because you know most people would just be grinding at home for like eight hours on their own and they don't have to like do a show. And <laughs> yep. It, like basically an hour to do it. it is added pressure, you know, and uh, you know all they all they have to do is all they have to do is release the final time they got the score. They don't have to release the ten hours mm -hmm. of practice. That's <laughs> true. And it could help though. I remember when I used to play a lot of pool, like in billiards. Something about like when someone throws money on the table, it's like you start to play a bit better. Because now it's serious. You have to. <laughs> That's right. Um. Yeah, I, there is that added pressure, um, but I've only played these games on stream, so it's not like I have something to compare it to where I'm p practicing these off stream. I very rarely do because I don't really have a lot of time to play them outside of this, outside of the stream. So this is normal for me to have to talk and um, have people watch me try and get the patch live. Um, it's an interesting dynamic, and I don't mind it. It's it's fun. It, well, it's nice though because um, if you do happen to nail it, it's recorded for sure. Yeah, and people that's, watched that's it the live. Thing is. They can see my system. They can see my controller, and that's <laughs> another reason I did put. Not originally, but it's another good reason to have that camera up there, because if you look at um, world record holders, they have to show their system that they're playing on and verify that that controller is controlling that system with that cartridge in it and that's your TV and they show the... Usually after they get the score, they take the camera, well, after playing it, and go from the controller, trace the cable all the way to the system, trace the output from the system to the TV. And even more so on arcade boards, they have to like open up their arcade um, cabinet and show the dip switches on the board so that they the the judges can see, oh, you played version two of the game. Actually, this may be on the hard level still. Nope. 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 Is it? Uh, the second part was on B. I don't know if that makes any difference. Let me see. I know the, the common cheat for speedrunners is to, is to edit together their best levels. Right. And, and that's, that's, a, that's most typical, where they, where they have actually done it, but they were not able to do it all at once. Like they took like their best ever of, like, you know, level one, cut it to yep. the best level to do. And, and 
for some speedrunners, that's totally legit. It's like, you did the best time on level 3. Like, yeah. and they, they count that. It's like, this is the best level 3 time. And then there is, then there's an overall best, right? And that's different. It's like the, it's like Javelin versus the Decathlon. It's like, you're the best at Javelin, but this guy did Javelin and nine other events. He may not be the best in the world at Javelin, but overall, with Javelin included, he's the best. Or they're the best. Mm -hmm. And yep. all of a sudden you get caught once and you, it basically undermines your entire work. Everything you've ever done doesn't count anymore. And I don't think that's worth it, that risk at all. No, 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 no. Yeah, cheat it. It's just... exactly a brave stance, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Watch out, Erlen. You're, push... <laughs> You're pushing it. Yeah. a bad idea to kill someone because you might go to jail. That's so brave, so brave. Uh, Prow says, in a, Prow Seven says hello, hello, Prow Seven, welcome. We're trying to get the patch for the Activision game from 1983, Beam Rider. And I got, I don't know what oh, I got, 15, 15, 15, 15, 16, something like that. Yeah, yep. that's pretty good. Out of 40. Yeah. Um, just look at the dip switches. I don't think that. I mean the. Uh, Difficulty switches. I don't think it does anything, but... Uh, yeah, finally got one of them. <laughs> Just took Sector 5. Good. <sighs> uh, only the left difficulty switch. Good. So that didn't affect anything. Definitely getting a little more fran frantic at sector, sector six. Sector six, it yeah. ramps up. Yeah. When those spikes start coming towards you, that's that's when it's a bad time because you can't stop moving. You can't just relax in an area. Oh, didn't need to do that. It's, it's so interesting. Though, right? Like I remember um, talking to you about all this COVID stuff. It was like this breath of fresh air to finally have somebody that I felt like was reputable. You know, I think that's the thing we're really facing in 2020 is to know who to listen to, who to trust, where to get information. Yeah. There just seems to be like this, I think that's part of the scary part about this time, just trying to figure out like what information do you trust and who, you know? Yeah. Even What are your guys' sources and what do you recommend for me to look at as like good, reputable places to, to look for right the now? The National Institute of Health. <laughs> 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 That's where I go. Yeah, and uh, and the and the Canada, the government of Canada website. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, there's there's full spectrum of extremes, um, and also there's unknown as well because all the countries are tr treating this slightly differently. Their approaches yeah. in yeah. terms of lockdowns and congregating of number of people and where you can congregate, how many businesses are open and what type of businesses. And I guess you have different economies, you yep. have different climates, you have different cultures, so there's also like... Yeah, all those things factor in. So there's no real um, control group. There's everything's slightly different, so you can't really compare one against the other in terms of... In, and there's different cultural approaches to it as well. Um, in terms of outcome versus what they did. And also you have to take into account the different countries may not may be either misreporting and also the factor of testing versus the actuality of how many people have it. Um, because you can either not test very much and of course report yeah, nothing and report yeah. hey we're doing great because no tests came back positive it's well that's not really accurate or you could test a ton and find a ton of people and it looks really bad on your country um but maybe maybe it's not bad on your country because you did a lot of testing to begin with and you know shut that all that down so those people stay at home and don't you know walk around infecting everyone it's it's so variable on what how to evaluate all of this but obviously being as extreme as possible is going to have the book the best outcome but then you have 
not certain governments saying that, well, we have to balance this with the economy because if we shut down everything down, the economy is going to crash and then we're in a bad place after that. But the other aspect of it is shutting everything down and keeping everyone indoors does slow the spread. Yes, but does. at the end of the day, the moment those doors open up, <laughs> the coronavirus is still out there and you end up with a resurgence. So there's also something to how you deal with coming out of quarantine. And no one's really discussed that. No one talks about that. I read, <laughs> I read an article to. on the Washington Post talking about how it should be kind of metered. And the people at the highest risk might... It makes the most sense that to keep the people at the highest risk continuing to stay indoors and continuing to self-isolate and yeah. actually doing it in, in a way where the people who are at the least risk for critical um, uh, consequences of getting the disease and, and symptoms um, get kind of... Over it? Out yeah, there? Get out there first, right? So so businesses can get back to normal. But how you manage that is, is a whole other thing. So Yeah, the bottom line is that there is no cure and no preventative measures Not yet. Not yet. yet. So, oh my God, why did I press that? Um, so everybody can get it right now and we're just delaying how many people get it at once Yeah. right now. We're trying to minimize the number of people getting it all at once. And we will, and until there is a cure. Um, Not a cure, a vaccine. Or a vaccine. Yeah. Cure too. You generally cure as you, well. You generally don't cure or viruses. treatment. Treatment. Yeah, treatment is what to you help. Need. Yeah, to help it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh God. Yes. But still, you might actually want to have done. It's just out of the question. For yep. Me. Not happening. <laughs> Yeah, and even the stuff that does need to be done is going to be um, overruled by people on ventilators. Like yeah, even if it's, it's just reality. Yeah, and it's uh, an unfortunate side effect. There's no good things. <laughs> no. There's no good things happening right now with this. No matter how you look at it. It's a wild time to be alive. Mm -hmm. It's it's making the best of the worst. Oh God. I oh. Like the, the Did I get it? Is, yeah. I feel like we're all in it together, you know? That is something that does feel good, is yeah. I do feel like there is, a, there is a sense of that everybody is experiencing like the same thing in a way. So uh, I do yes. feel a, a weird connection to people that I didn't before in a way. But at the same time, it's also ironic that it's in the middle of that connection. We're also isolated. So it's, it's a very interesting time. But yeah. I always think, too... Um, one of the things I'm a little I'm oh, thankful for on. is even if this was if this was 20 years ago even we would have had far fewer ways of staying connected with each other. Oh god. 20 20 20 would have been, yeah. 20 would be 2000? 2000 or, or or even 25 say cuz 25 would be better cuz 2000 we had um Yeah, yeah, you're right. Like 25 years or video conferencing. And you think of, you know, previous pandemics and the Spanish flu and things like that, where, like, you were stuck in your home and you had no idea what was going on. A telephone. No, no, like... Newspapers. The Spanish flu, that was, like, 1918. Yeah. Most people would be stuck in their homes. Well, you wouldn't be, be leaving. That's what I mean. Yeah. So at least we have a billion ways to connect with each other, even if we're not seeing each other in person, right? So... Yeah, it's, it's much, much, much better. Yeah. That's for sure. Um, but they did have ways to communicate. <laughs> no, but not not the same way we do now. They couldn't FaceTime, they couldn't each, FaceTime other. each other. You you couldn't yeah, live stream and work on your you know work on your patch for Beam Rider uh, <laughs> and chat at the same time. You know, it's it wasn't quite the same. Thing. 1919 version of Beam Rider. Yeah, and, and pencil and paper. Uh, we downloaded. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And we downloaded that Netflix party um, extension so you can chat and watch watch your movies with friends at the same time. That's ridiculous. So. <laughs> I'm like, what is the point of this? You can do this. At well, that's true. <laughs> People did this on the phone in the 80s. That's true. That's true. <laughs> People need a but nap you have for to, everything You have now. to time it up. You know, in the 80s, you would have to be watching it would the same be live. thing at the same time. Yeah, it would be one of the three channels. That's true. 
Ah. Um, yeah, people did that all the time in the 80s. But you could do that anytime you rent a, a, a VHS it's just tape. Neat. And, okay, press go. <laughs> press play on the VH, VCR. <laughs> but I don't know. It's it's neat, but everybody needs an app now to do it. Oh, that's true. <laughs> we could do it. You could do it on the IRC and uh, with television if you wanted to do it on a computer. I couldn't escape. <laughs> oh no. Why is it so bad? Why is this game so Man, hard? Are you. Mm -hmm. They are. It's crazy. I feel like this is like Miss Pac Miss Pac-Man's cousin just shooting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this little character down there mm -hmm. feels like Miss Pac-Man's cousin. Yep, yeah, the the yellow with the red bow on the top. <laughs> Looks similar. Oh yeah, this one's bad. This one's a bad scene. Just blasting down beams, dodging mines, trying to shoot planes. At least you're in space, though. I'm not eating like hundreds of opium. <laughs> 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 like, find the largest one to them. You know, the That's right. I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather be shoot, shooting uh, spaceships than have ghosts oh jump out at me God. from around corners like all day long. Yeah. That would be horrible. Just, like, like, You're like, ah! Like, run away! Just trying to gobble up all the pills you can find. <laughs> yeah. The no. never-ending labyrinth. That's right. Oh, you finished this labyrinth? Here's another. Yeah. <laughs> no! Every once in a while, you might need some fruit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You. One reprieve. It's like, yay, a strawberry. <laughs> My day got you better. You try to escape from the right side of the screen, it just puts you right back. <laughs> James just played Beam Rider for more hours than anyone in history. Ugh, I don't know about that. Um, Maybe streaming online. Yeah, I yep. think that actually might might. I hold uh, many be records true. for that. <laughs> I always love it when you get the ah. first crack at a game. You're like world record. World record. <laughs> I always say PB because personal best. Personal best. <laughs> One more and then we're done. We're done, because I'm doing terrible. No. This game is killing me. Like, usually with these games, I can make a dent. This is this is a pretty high bar. It's a pretty high bar, 40,000. I'm going to blame Who are the you fact blaming? that this game came out in 83, 84, when they're at the end of their run of doing patches. And they're like, we're not just giving them out anymore, okay? <laughs> You're going to have to work for them now. And they made their patches really hard. Because the early ones, like, we blazed through some of these some patches. Of them, yeah. They're like, oh, this is easy. Some of the early Activision games. Yeah. This isn't the Boy Scouts. We can just get one for, like, you know, shaking someone's hand or making a fire. Right. Not anymore. We're not getting patches for shaking people's hands anymore. Yeah, in the, the Boy Scouts. handshaking patch. Yeah. <laughs> Stargazing patch. Yeah. Patch for everything in a Boy Scout. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Managed to not eat all the chocolate bars. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Did you do the dishes today? Self-control patch. patch. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wish when you become an adult you get patches for things, but you can you make know. your own patches. Yeah. This game didn't even actually have a patch for the 2600. It was so late in the in the cycle when when the um, the whole video game crash came out. Yeah. They, they never actually put out a patch for this. They were discovered later in a bag. Um, that somebody found a whole bunch of the patches, so that nobody oh, actually. Ron just said that um, he read that uh, they really don't know who programmed the 2600 version. Really? Oh, I... Interesting. Because I was able to get uh, oh, a name. Oh. What? I missed it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It says on Wikipedia one of the names, and in the manual. Now, Activision is very good at at giving credit to where credit's due, and in the manual it has two people's pictures and names. But, oh, that that may be incorrect, because... Yeah, that's, that's what he was saying. He says it wasn't Rolf who did the Indie version. Right, it, because there's an Intellivision version and a Coleco version. Yeah. And an Atari 2600 mm. version. So, yeah, you may be correct that you know, it was just lost in time who made it. Well, whoever did this did an incredible job on the 2600. 
it's using all the resources really well. Well, I was going to say I was getting on another interesting topic with Erlen. Um, have you ever seen those tattoos where they make them look Damn like it. stitching, like patches, where they do patches on people's arms, and so it looks like individual stitch stitches? Work. Yeah, stitch work tattoos. Oh, every yeah, time looks like thread yeah like thread so it looks like it looks like thread and every every time you say patch i'm like oh yeah you could get your you know Ooh, get your patch. arm and get get all your boy scout tattoos down the, all your all your activism activision tattoos down your arm that's dedication yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody really likes this is your future yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll fund it i'll pay for all of it <laughs> No. <laughs> no. For every patch you get, but you have to put them on your first your lower back and then on your face. Oh god, my the face. The tramp stamp? The tramp stamp yeah, across the gotta, back? We gotta do the tramp stamp first. And then the, 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 the final one is on your cheek. Perfect. Because, um, tell you your <laughs> but the hardest one. Forever. Yeah. Just right above the eye. Right, yeah. right above the eyebrow. Get my space shuttle patch. Oh my god. Oh! Uh, <sighs> doing worse and worse. That means it's time to stop soon. <laughs> yeah, I think an hour of tire tracks, my eyes started to glaze over. I couldn't really focus on the screen anymore. Tire tracks is different because you feel like you're so close. Yes! Yes. It's <laughs> like, it's, oh. you're, you're like, it's, you're like, just, it's, it's just a bit out of range. Yes. Versus this one, you feel like you're being Oh, yeah. just brutal. I got my high score playing emulation with a Dreamcast D-pad, believe it or not. Oh, wow. This, is there is Activision Atari 2600 games put out on the Dreamcast? Oh. I mean, they play, they make those compilations for almost every, every system. system yeah. like every year they put it out again and again. Excuse me, people keep buying them. It's like sports games. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Every system, every year over and over they're the most popular and uh lowest resale value are <laughs> are sports games on any system because just so many people buy them and nobody wants every them year, they just the players so slightly... yep yep up the graphics a bit and and people don't need to buy them because the old versions because there's a new version so well they want the teams to have the right players that's on. right for that that current year there we go i mean it must it must that. make companies money because they keep putting them out so oh, oh they, yeah. they're, they're one of the highest selling games yeah also, they don't have to really change the programming too much they you know i mean they already have all the infrastructure in place they just yeah, have to yeah. that's it. true that's one of the best ways they can make money up the and, graphics and you know what i've heard that's why you know some of those sports games they still make for very old systems because yes. in um in poor and more developing countries a lot of people still have like PS2s and PS3s, and so they continue coming out with versions of those games because people in those countries buy them. Yeah, oh, um, that Damn they're that that popular, which yeah. is really really interesting. To me, the kind of joystick is is just a place. What this, this kind, kind of, jo of joystick, oh, Super this Mario one? or similar? Yeah. Um, I vary them. I... <laughs> Yeah, I, I usually do play with a with arcade, arcade joystick. Yeah. I should go back to that. Maybe it'll do better. I don't know. For this one, maybe not because it's so precise. Yeah. Um, a D-pad might be really good for this. Some games, it feels really good to smack those arcade buttons. Yeah. It just is satisfying. Come on. Yes. Get and much I think better. Too, than it's that. one of those things where it's like whatever you get used to, because yeah. um, you yeah. can build that muscle memory. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. I guess you can see the controller and the screen. Okay, good. I can see your, uh, yeah. You can see Atari too? Yeah. He oh, hasn't, yeah. he hasn't oh, left! He's been chiller mode the whole time. I know, he hasn't even gotten up. What a good kid. He also is like camouflage. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> does. That yeah. That's right. It's, it's the opposite of, um, Pixel, when he walks in the room, he just draws the there eye, <laughs> the black and white cat, and the neutral, yeah, <laughs> big floofy tail. Well, we went on a walk today, Oh yeah. and saw five cats. 
It's amazing. <laughs> I, I judge the quality of the walk by how many cats we see on our walk. It's a five-cat walk. It's yeah. a five-cat walk. Yeah, exactly the phrasing. <laughs> and, it, and it was very successful. I was hoping for a sixth because I'm sure that would be a record. <laughs> But uh, there was. Because it's all about five, the high scores. Five at least tied for best, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> oh, I've seen raccoons, yeah. But and I had a camera, so I have documentation. All of five, the five cats. cats. All five. It's <laughs> pretty good. Yeah, um, that's neighborhood cat gets upset. Oh, yeah, no, no. Jealousy. Yeah, no, jealousy. I can Aww. smell other cats. Yeah. Funny. Yep. Cats give a big sniff if they smell other uh, other animals. Other yeah. cats. It's cool watching oh. them and like the, the, the neighborhood cats all interact with each other because they, they they stay like blocks away from them. <laughs> yeah. It's just, like, they... Subtle shuffle. Oh. Just, like, they're staring at each other across the bar. They're like, this is my territory. <laughs> yeah. Bar. You leave. We'll switch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they actually have. Supposedly, I know they've been there have been lots of studies, but like they have their territories and they also have neutral ground. Oh. So there are places where they can cross paths. Neutral zone. And in the neutral zones, they t won't tend to fight each other, but in the in their territory, they will. So if one encroaches, like yeah. <laughs> Uh, I also love those, if, like on YouTube, where they've put like the tracking collars on cats to see how far far away from their home they go, and they go like really far, really far, and they cover a lot of ground far. in a day. Like just outdoor cats, like how far they go and come back. Damn it. Yeah, you wouldn't know. They seem so <laughs> docile and yeah, simple in some ways, but they're quite they're, active. They're complex it's animals. Oh yeah. Yeah. I would not want to mess with like a large cat. Oh god. I've seen the advertising for it, and I've seen everybody talk about it. Oh, the tiger one. I it's I haven't watched it. It's it's a murder murder case, right? The guy. Sort of. Um, it's mostly just about people who own wild like tigers and lions. Oh okay. It's just about their personalities. Like what kind of person wants to own like twenty tigers? <laughs> it's 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 funny. This I was, um, I saw that on there, but I was watch. I was listening to a podcast that was all all about following murder trials and things like that. And in it, it, I think one of the people who might be even in that show who was murdered, <laughs> um, owned like one of these refuges down in Florida or something like that. Who owned all these big cats? So when I saw that come up on Netflix, I was like, oh, I, I wonder if that's the same so. dude. Sixteen two seventy eight is what I'm gonna stop on. That's tonight. pretty good. Is I that did... your highest score? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, unless yeah, the other one was, easy, yeah. Unless the the other one that I did did okay is better, but it's both I around it's this. The so I'll review the footage, make sure that one's highest. So I did yeah. better, and better is good enough for now, because <laughs> this is a damn hard game. Mm. Um, I'll have to I'll have to watch some some videos to see tactics, but. I don't see how you can have tactics in this. Mm -hmm. Just avoid everything because things are just coming at you, constantly coming at you. Um, but that was uh, fun. I do love playing that game because mm -hmm. it's not boring. It's mm -hmm. not repetitive even. It's just, you're just constantly going. And your voice has gotten better. There's no robots for That's great news. Also, it's like cool two to hours. see the stream from uh, this end. The camera looks really good. Yeah, on our end, you're normally, you're not I don't perfect. Get to watch it, you know, because I'm normally on the show. I don't oh, really see it. It's cool to see it on like my monitor and like. Oh yeah, yeah, like it. yeah. It's really crisp. Looks really good. <laughs> um, obscure reference. Yes, catwalk. Yep, I knew that one. <laughs> uh, somebody's quoting Wright said Fred lyrics. Oh, <laughs> very nice. <laughs> yeah. Um. So we played three games today, Mister Yo Yo. Abyss of Chernobyl and Beam Rider. Mr. Yo-Yo is shaping up. It's uh, it's really, really good. Those blue it's guys, man. <laughs> that bounce 
bounce around. Maybe they're a bit too fast. I don't know. Maybe I, we're just I bad. still feel like they should bounce around and leave at some point. But yeah, they, they go away after a while. Yeah. After five bounces. I think we gave that feedback last time too because they're they're really challenging but yeah, maybe we you know suck. The, yeah and that's that's a possibility too so yeah. um and abyss of chernobyl some good parts like really good that flashlight one is brilliant game mechanics weirdly i like the kind of dark nature of all five games like and even that flashlight one like yeah before the, we figured out how it works the mood the mood is really of it is heavy really and, really good and yeah. a lot of his games are like that really dark and foreboding yeah and, and black and white and very heavy themes yeah so it fits right into his style of of um game development um but I like some that. of i like that some of the games in there are a bit obtuse like they're a bit like really like obscure and hard to grasp what's going on it feels weirdly arty to me i don't know what All it is games are very yeah arty. like like it's less about the game and more about the visual and the mood and the yeah uh, yeah like the i would say that about feeling it's inspiring all sort of his of, games yeah. every single one of his games has that feeling yeah it's a lot of style yeah in it and he's and he starts with the style and the mood and the colors and the visuals mm. rather than starting from a place of gameplay yeah I like and, it, that. and it starts from the opposite side it's it's an artistic expression yeah that morphs itself into a game um he makes games like no other person makes. yeah i love like, that i think that's so cool yeah yeah um and beam rider we played it already it's um, so good <laughs> incredible game activision yeah. was the king of atari 2600 games back in the day and this is just another one of it crowning glories of making mm. games just incredible mm. um so next episode i've already got it planned out which is good because it's in two days <laughs> uh we're going to be playing crack and attack ultra scuzzy side asteroids attack two attacks by sheer coincidence um which is a work in progress update because we did play that before mm. uh, and you didn't play it so that'll be good mm. That's the one I think we played it with with you where you leave Earth and you're shooting asteroids and the asteroids hit Earth and you let so many through the Earth blows up. He's done a big that up. That was fun, but it was hard. Yeah. That so was he's, a, that was a soul crushing one. I remember feeling yeah. like Ugh. you know. Yeah, so hard. But he's made it a lot easier. You get more ships. Um, so I think it's a good time to try an update and see how well we can do. Um, and we're going to be taking a look at uh, John, one of John Champo's early attempts at a game that he didn't finish, mm -hmm. called Rip Off. Um, it's not re got a rip off, rip off, you it, know. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's an arcade game. It was made into a Vectrex game as well. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll take a look at that, and also be playing Boulder Dash, the next set of. Uh, levels so good luck to us because that's really really hard i when it comes to that game i want if i had the time to spend three hours trying to like improve my boulder dash skills update ultra oh. scuzzy side uh, ultra ssd side yes that's that's good ultra ssd side loads too fast <laughs> <laughs> silly 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 ripoff was one of my favorite ever games in the arcade i should really load it up on the vectrex so i can compare and play it beforehand mm. um, before we played the 2600 version can't really play it it's, is, not, it's, it's not a vector playable. based game i don't know if it was vector based in the arcade mm. i haven't done a lot of research about it but i will know by friday okay <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> um and uh then on uh next wednesday i've scheduled super maria sisters and super maria sisters 2 nice simple little games <laughs> by atari 2600 land i think he's the guy who makes a billion 2600 games they're all like really simple mm. but he's made like hundreds literally hundreds of them that's cool um and then on f next friday we're gonna be playing space battle and zookeeper um yes. again because it's part of the 2020 harmony games and trying to m maintain a high score in it i'll have to check out actually i'm gonna check it out right now see if anybody else has beat uh erlen and i because we're the first persons to submit scores to that oh i i would be very surprised if... <laughs> doesn't say that anybody else has put any other scores in 
Really? Wow. Well, we'll just have to beat our own scores. There's still lots of times. So people might be practicing. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it that I have scheduled. So if anybody knows of any uh, games that you'd like us to play on the show that we haven't covered, or there's been an update to something that we haven't played in a long time, um, definitely let me know anywhere that you can find me. <laughs> Facebook and Instagram and all those places. YouTube. And um, I say goodbye to everyone that's been hanging out with us today. Oh, where's my chat? There we go. Still never played his Jack and the Beanstalk. I've played it. You haven't. <laughs> oh, can you message me about that? Jack and the Beanstalk. Maybe I'll look it up right now. <laughs> so that I will have it in my search at least. Jack and the Beanstalk, Atari Age. There we go. I've got it now. Excellent. Thank you very much for that suggestion. So, uh, Cafe Man 2D, Pack Rat VG, who has sent me one. Hopefully, it'll arrive soon. I'm tracking that. Cool. Let's see where it is right now. The Pack, Mat Pack Rat Mystery Box, I've labeled it. <laughs> it is currently in Chicago, Illinois International Distribution Center as of March yesterday. So excellent. Who knows? Yeah. I'm sure packages are going a little bit slower, slower right now. now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. So Everything's I'll be able to uh, slow slow down. A little slower. Yep. Yeah. Oh now you're overblown. You're blowing out. There you go. Oh, there you go, you fixed it. <laughs> I got some tricks. Yep, the auto adjust. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. Um Um Yeah, when Packer at VG's um game arrives what i'll do is i'll do a live unboxing and just play it on that show sure whatever it is okay and i'll leave a slot for it and i'll put mystery game like i did last time yeah um cafe man 2d andrew davy ricardo pim uh ricardo pim prow seven thunkus, thunkus the d train captain classic 06502 I supposed to Dave M thank you so much for making Mr. Yo-Yo and keeping on uh, developing it hopefully um, we gave you some good feedback not much not much feedback <laughs> not great at just, it so. just our frustrations maybe <laughs> yeah. helped you out more more practice more yeah practice. it says AZ I think it's from Arizona mm. Dave M AZ maybe uh, Dan ABC, ABC. Uh, and that's where the chat ends. So thank you so much, everybody, for mm -hmm. hanging out with us on this Wednesday night. And I'm so glad Erlen could join yeah, us as well. Yeah, for, for my fallout shelter. That's right. <laughs> you got nowhere. You still got lots of cans of food and big yeah. jugs of water. De <laughs> de de dehydrated. A wall of toilet paper in yeah. the back. <laughs> dehydrated ice cream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> keep the radiation down that's right so i'll review the footage and see what improvements we can make for that for the video of somebody videoing in okay. so that we can get it to a point where we can have a guest um uh, developer yeah coming in and playing it so that everything goes smooth so it's kind of good good tests and this um this worked pretty well but there's some audio weirdness and i'd love to get it just the perfect audio mm. right in there and i know there's a way i just didn't get it in time done in time mm. so we'll be playing with that um so thanks everybody for hanging out um and we'll see you on friday same time 6 p.m and i'll be here with my um cohort <laughs> who is locked cohort. locked in here <laughs> locked in here with me forever and i've ever. been downgraded from wife to cohort just now. cohort <laughs> <laughs> hey man, that's such a bad thing. I wish I had someone in my fault. Oh, you got that you got that nice cat that comes yeah. around that you can cuddle. He does he does he sit on your lap at all? Or Yeah, he um uh and he'll like uh he'll climb into like he'll climb on me now. He'll wow. just like, put his paws up on like Aww. Oh, oh that's great. Stuff. Next time I'll look out the window and he'll just be up against the glass. <laughs> hey you in there? Hey, hey, Erlen, you in there? But it's, I always appreciate it because it's a surprise, you know. It doesn't last forever, so it's one of it's like a little, uh, it's like a little visitor, you know. A little bonus. Know when he'll 
yeah. something else will draw his attention, like a little <laughs> bird in the tree or something, you know? That's yeah. true. Well, well, thanks for hanging out with us, yeah. Erilyn. And thanks no for videoing in. Stay safe, you two. Yeah, you too stay well. safe as well. Don't yeah. don't get close to anyone. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face. <laughs> don't or touch your face like 90 times during the stream. Yeah. <laughs> I know. After you've washed your hands and your face, I think it's fine, right? To touch well, your face. Yeah. yeah. Once you're home and your hands are yeah. washed. Yeah. He yells at me every time I walk in the door. Wash He's, your hands. It, it, literally, I walk in the door, I hear, wash your hands from downstairs when I come yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone needs a James in their house just to scream wash at them to wash your hands every time I, you walk I in. I seriously need a James in my house. That's right. <laughs> oh, I wish I could visit, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. can't visit right now. Uh, Eventually, we'll, the quarantine will be lifted and yeah. we'll all start oh, yeah, infecting well, I just, each other. I just mean metaphorically, yeah. a little spirit looking out for me. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll transmeditate and, and project, astral project myself over there. Okay, now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> there we go okay so we'll see you uh, next Wednesday Erlen and Bye. we'll see everybody else out there on Friday, Friday same time yeah bye-bye have a good night <laughs>